Sailing, Full Level Lightning Dragon Slayer, Build the Fairy Tale Emperor, Author, Pirates, Chapter 26 Juvia, I have been honest with the President Tilda, Alabaster. The oasis city of Juba, moisturized by rain. The dying city finally breathed a sigh of relief, thriving. Now, Juba Center, Rebel Base, a violent quarrel is going on. At this point, do we still have a way out? The rebellion must be carried out. But, the rain yesterday has proved everything. The king did not take everyone's rainwater. This is a natural disaster. What we are doing now is rebellion. According to the crime, not only us, but even our family members will be implicated. Don't be silly. Lord Cobra is not a tyrant. He will understand and forgive us. How can you be sure that Lord Cobra will be able to forgive us? I just know. The rebels split into two factions, and arguments escalated. Kausa, you are the leader, what do you think? In the end, all eyes were on the young rebel leader Kosa. I will go to the capital. Koshor spoke calmly, already making a decision. At this time, Kausa Kosa, Vivi. Master Vivi is here. A young soldier shouted and came to the big tent to report the news to the people. Nanny. Master Vivi, is the princess here? All the rebel army leaders were shocked. He hurriedly walked out of the big tent with Kusha, waiting to see the fairy tale spacecraft coming from far and near. Everyone opened their mouths wide at the same time, and the shock on their faces became even more shocking in an instant. Kausa, everyone, it's all right now. Vivi stood on the bow of the fairy tale, waving to the stunned people. Suyu's task today is to send Vivi to its destination. As for negotiating with the rebels, it is not something he wants to participate in. This is something only the venerable princess Vivi can do. Their involvement will only make matters worse. While Vivi was negotiating with Koshua and others, Suyu and his party were warmly received by the old man Duo. A day trip to the oasis city of Juba was carried out. At dusk, when Suyu and his party returned from sightseeing, the conversation between Vivi and Koshua and others is also over. The final result is a happy one, with Vivi as a guarantee. Those who are afraid of being executed for treason no longer have any worries. After all, the credit of the Princess Vivi is guaranteed in Alabaster. That night, a great feast is held in Juba. The Kingdom Army represented by Vivi and the Rebel Army represented by Koza Reconcile. Dot. Royal Capital, Albana. Master Cobra, just now, I received a contact from Juba, because of Lord Vivi's lobbying. The Rebel Army led by Koza has been disbanded. Falk and Bell excitedly reported the good news to Cobra. Okay, you really deserve to be Master Vivi. Akeren blushed with excitement. Vivi has really endured too much. If possible, I hope she can live, travel, and fall in love like other girls carefree. It's too early. Cobra shook his head. Well well well, after this matter is over, Lord Vivi can relax. Everything will be decided tomorrow, Akeren said. The final confrontation with the boss behind the scenes of the Barlock Work Agency, I Kalem. I have an ominous feeling that the Barlock Work Agency may really have something to do with Shikai Bukai Lokdar, King Cobra said worriedly. It's okay, Lord Cobra, everyone from Fairy Tale is beside Lord Vivi, especially Chairman Suyu. He is stronger than you can imagine, Akeren said firmly. The road from Whiskey Peak to Alabaster. Akeren has seen Suyu and Urza compete more than once. Their strength is the only one I Lam has ever seen in his life. Even if Lok's behind the scenes boss is really clock dial, it is completely fine. Dot. Day and night. Time came to the last day of the deadline. Under the shocked and awe-inspiring eyes of Koshua and others, the fairy tale took off. Shortly after leaving Juba, Juvia, who had recuperated in the room all day, was finally revived with full blood. After a brief greeting with Erda, Mirajan and the others, Juvia came to Vivi's side. Ooh dot 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 Miss Juvia, are you alright? Vivi greeted weakly, eyes slightly dodged. As for Juvia's deep liking for Suyu, of course she could see it too. Juvia rained miracles on Alabastu and was a great benefactor to the country. However, she kissed Suyu in front of Juvia. This sense of immorality makes Vivi panic and uneasy, and he has no face to face it. However, it was beyond Vivi's expectations. Juvia didn't care about the kiss between Vivi and Suyu two days ago. Because, HMPH, Vivi, you just kissed the president, but I have been honest with the president. Juvia opened her mouth showing off. Artilda, Vivi was stunned, unable to understand for a while. That's the one, the man and the woman. The president is really amazing. Let Juvia get the ultimate happiness. You probably can't understand this feeling. Vivi, Juvia said all kinds of tiger and wolf words with a happy face. Vivi also finally understood. Juvia was showing off to her. It's just that these things that Juvia showed off were too exciting for Vivi, who was still an innocent girl. Just listening to Juvia's description, Vivi couldn't help but blush. The legs rubbed unconsciously, and the deer bumped wildly. There was a strange feeling in the depths of the body, as if something was about to erupt. Ah, ah, ah. At this moment, Nami, who was on the sidelines, couldn't stand Juvia's showing off and couldn't help interrupting. President, speaking of which, what is our itinerary for today? Nami asked loudly. Rainland, Clockida, Suyu said concisely. Vivi, exclamation mark. Chapter 27 Fairy Tale vs. Sparlock Work Agency. K. K. Lockdal. Vivi's voice raised more than an octave, echoing unceasingly over the guild. What's wrong with Lockdal? Urza asked puzzled. Clockdal, this name, 
I have an impression. Nami's eyes widened too. That's one of the seven great pirates recognized by the world government, commonly known as seven warlords of the sea. President, why are we looking for Shikai Bukai? Didn't I ask Robin to bring the message back three days ago, and let that guy surrender within three days, otherwise, I will send him there. The guy hasn't moved for the past three days, so I can only do it myself! Exclamation mark. So you smiled faintly. Wait a moment dot 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 wait a moment, President, the person you want to surrender should be the boss behind the Lockwork Agency, right? There is a relationship with Shikai Bukai Lokdar. Nami stopped abruptly in the middle of her speech because she already understood what Suyu meant. That is to say, is the so-called Shikai Bukai Lok Dial the boss behind the Lockwork Agency? Erza nodded knowingly. President, how do you know that Lok Dial is the boss behind the scenes? Nami couldn't help asking. Robin said it. Suyu said casually. Why don't we know? Nami retorted. Don't you know? Maybe I'm the only one who heard it. Suyu said seriously. Nami. The conversation between Suyu and Robin that day. They were all the two. If Robin said so, how could they not hear? Clock Eater. It turned out to be Clock Eater. I should have thought earlier. Besides him, who else can command the Lockwork Club? Vivi clenched her fists. Her pretty face was full of anger. After a while, Vivi loosened his fist weakly. President Suyu, Shikai Bukai, Lok, Dao is not an ordinary person. I can't further implicate you. The next thing is, without waiting for Vivi to finish. What are you talking about? Vivi, Suyu's big hand landed on Vivi's small head and rubbed it. We have indeed accepted your commission. Of course. We must complete it to the end. If we can't even complete such a trivial matter, how can our fairy tale gain a foothold in this sea? Dot. Between Oasis Yuba and Dream City Rainland. An area of? Weathered rock. Jagged weathered rock. Nine men and women sat or stood, waiting quietly. If Vivi were here, he would be shocked and horrified. Because these nine people are the most powerful advanced agents of the Lockwork Agency. After the heavy rain two days ago, they received a summons from Boss Lokdar. Urgently assembled from all over the sea, they came here ready to intercept and kill the target fairy tale. Haven't you come yet? Haven't you come yet? Where's the agreed goal? You've been waiting for so long. Haven't you come yet? Miss, an old woman who looks like a mole, shouted Merry Christmas loudly. Long distance fatigue, back pain. Really, it's all your fault, Mr. Four. It's all your fault for being so bulky. It weighs on my old waist. It hurts. It hurts. I'm sorry, the tall man with a dull expression, Mr. Four, apologized weakly. He he he, I'm still as impatient as ever. Merry Christmas, Miss. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three, with the letter three hairstyle on his head, is leisurely holding black tea. Enjoy send by afternoon tea with your partner Miss Golden Week. Mr. Three, the boss asked us to come here, not for tourism. Miss Valentine, a beautiful girl wearing a lemon patterned skirt, yelled. I didn't expect it to be an unprecedented gathering of all advanced agents. Who is this mission going to deal with? Wearing a windbreaker, Mr. Five, a man like a rock singer frowned. According to the information provided by Miss Isle Sunday, the other party is fairy tale from East Blue. Miss pointed to Zella with both hands. A Anetwo, a Anetwo. A Everyone, if you are bored, come and dance with the slaves the way of the Shemal. Mr. Two Bentham, a tough ladyboy in a ballet suit, steps on ballet steps, sings and dances rap. Coming soon. Dressed like a monk, the blue-haired man Mr. One Desbonese suddenly stood up and looked into the distance. Um, come yet? All the advanced agents were instantly alert. Follow Dasbornis' line of sight, waiting to see the spaceship coming from far and near. The mouths of all the advanced agents grew at a speed visible to the naked eye, and their shock jaws all touched the ground. The ship. The ship is flying in the sky. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three had a ghostly expression on his face. A mirage. That's a mirage. How can a ship fly in the sky? It's impossible for a ship to fly in the sky. Miss Valentine repeatedly exclaimed. Unfortunately, that wasn't a mirage. This is fairy tale. No wonder we need all of our advanced agents assembled. Mrs. Fingers looked solemn. I haven't heard that the other party can fly, with me like this. Aren't all the traps I dug useless? The mole old lady Miss Merry Christmas cried strangely. It doesn't matter, I will make a move. Mr. Five, the explosive fruit ability user, spoke calmly and confidently. Say it. He stretched out his index finger and began to pick his nose. The other side. The tall and dull man Mr. Four picked up the Dax Hoon beside him. Slap, slap. The Dax Hoon transformed into a cannon and opened its mouth to spit out a time bomb. Mr. Four grasped the timing, swung the four-ton bat, and sent the time bomb flying. At the same time, Mr. Five took out a large booger and popped it out. Boom. Rumble. Dot. Chapter 28. So you makes a move, and it takes seconds. Boom. Boom. Rumble. A terrifying explosion occurred in the sky. The powerful wind wave blew the fairy tale's hull and tilted to one side. The sudden attack caused the faces of the girls on the boat to change and they filed out. Their eyes coincidentally locked on the advanced agents in the weather drop area ahead. Mr. Five, Miss Valentine, Miss Golden Week, Mr. Three. Can't be wrong, those are the advanced agents of the Bar Lockwork Agency, and the unprecedented nine agents appeared together. Vivi's pupils shrank suddenly, 
and he had already recognized the enemy's identity. It seems that the other party is ready to fight our fairy tale. Urza's mouth curled up. She never refuses a fight that comes to her door. Where's the boat? What happened to the boat? The previous explosion was no joke. Nami spoke nervously. Don't worry, Nami. This ship has self-defense magic. An explosion of this magnitude cannot destroy our guild. Mirajan laughed. Nami, although I don't know what self-defense magic is, but it sounds like a lot of power. In short, there is no need to worry about the damage of the ship. Oh President is so handsome. On the side, Juvia cheered like a little girl. Nami and Vivi took a closer look. Only then did I find out. I don't know when. So you has already come in front of everyone in the Barra Clockwork Agency. To be more precise, it came to Mr. Dot 5 Mr. Dot 5 who has the ability to explode fruit. Don't flick your stinky boojas into the bottom of other people's boats. Suyu shouted angrily. The fist trapped in thunder and lightning hit Mr. Five who was picking his nose and preparing for the second round of blasting with lightning speed. Whoosh, boom. Mr. Explosive Man is shaped like a fired shell, flying backwards for hundreds of kilometers, and disappearing into the sky with the ear-piercing sonic boom. Just like Four Emperor's red hair was slashed because of Captain Kidd's opponent's shot. If only Mr. Five hadn't hit Fairy Tail with a booja bomb, so you couldn't do it himself, and punched him in seconds. But it was too late for him to regret it now. After solving the annoying booja man, Suyu's outwardly released energy was restrained, and he didn't make another move. However, this moment, Suyu just stood there. It brought a mountain of psychological pressure to a group of lock advanced agents. Everything happened too fast. They didn't even realize it. Suyu had already arrived in front of them, with one punch. Mr. Five, who was an advanced agent, disappeared without a trace. Monster. This moment, the word monster appeared in the minds of all the advanced agents. An understatement of a monster that kills an advanced agent with a single punch. Can they really fight against it? President, don't swallow it alone, let me do it. Urza jumped off the boat and came to Suyu's side. I want to fight too. Juvia let out a coquettish cry, and followed closely behind. Then I'll leave these miscellaneous fish to you. Suyu waved his hand nonchalantly. Say it, with a flash of his figure. You return to the boat, as expected of the president. Nami joins the applause. Then Nami was the discovery. Suyu kept staring at himself. What's wrong? Nami's heart skipped a beat. It's rare to get a new power. Nami, don't you want to find some opponents to try? Suyu smiled. With Urza here, there is no need for me to appear. Nami shirked. This is really a pity. I wanted to say that I would reward 10 million berry for defeating one. Suyu said. 10 million? I'll do it. Nami suddenly changed his face. His eyes were blinded by money. Nami's heart moved. Celestial magic activates. Enter the form of the Taurus star spirit clothes. Alas, will Nami also transform? Vivi's eyes widened in surprise. I stayed on the boat for half a month. Vivi and Nami get along day and night. However, it was the first time I saw Nami's star spirit clothing form. Want to learn? Suyu asked. May I? Vivi's eyes lit up. Certainly. Suyu smiled mysteriously. The other side. With Suyu leaving. The opponents became three girls. The tens heartstrings of the lock advanced agents suddenly eased. Ha ha dot 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 ha ha ha. As long as it's not that monster, it doesn't matter who else it is. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three heaved a sigh of relief, and smiled with lingering fear on his face. Next second, the smile on his face froze again. The eyeballs of both eyes almost jumped out of their sockets, because, Urza made a move. Exclamation mark. Dress up, the armor of the sky wheel. Exclamation mark. The sword of dazzling sky wheel. Exclamation mark. Swish, 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 swish. Dozens of hundreds of magic swords fell from the sky like a torrent of steel. Wang differed hash question mark percent dot 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 candle wall. Mr. Dot 3 screamed and activated the candle fruit ability. Create a tortoise shell as hard as steel. Ding ding dang dang tilde. The crisp sound of gold and iron clashing loudly. The desert land is full of smoke and dust. After a full minute, Urza's attack ends. All swords are homing. Is this the rhythm of instant killing? Nami said blankly. No, not yet. Urza shook her head lightly. Dap. The sound of footsteps came from the flying dust. The blue-haired man Daspanese dressed as a monk stepped out calmly, unscathed. How could it be that he was unscathed? How did this guy eat Urza's attack? Juvia was taken aback. Is it Lodia like the smoke man in Rotown? Nami guessed. What about the white turtle shell over there? Mirajan tilted her head in confusion when she saw the large tortoise shell in the desert. It was probably made by Mr. Three's ability, and it actually prevented Miss Urza's attack. The advanced agents of Barlock Work Agency and us. The general agents, really have a different level. Vivi looked solemn. Dot. Chapter 29 Lodia Water Fruit! Exclamation mark. White candle inside the turtle shell. Wait dot 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 wait a moment. This is my safe house. It's nothing more than golden week. Let's say it's my partner. But why did you all come in? Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three yelled in dissatisfaction. What nonsense are you talking about, Mr. Dot Three? If you don't hide in, you will definitely die. By the way, wouldn't you make the safe house bigger? Tough Shemal Mr. Two Bentham Road. 
in such an urgent situation before, it is already my limit to be able to do this. Mr. Dot 3 retorted, is that the Fairy Queen Urza from Legendary? It's even scarier than the rumors. Miss Fingers and forehead were covered with fine cold sweat. Her clothes were torn, and blood was dripping everywhere on her body. It was the wound caused by being rubbed by Urza's flying sword because he couldn't dodge it before. Are you kidding me? What kind of ability is that woman? Didn't she want to kill us all with one blow? Miss Valentine yelled in disbelief. It's so crowded Tilda. The small face of the lily girl Miss Golden Week is crowded and deformed. I'm so sorry, Mr. Forbabe, who took up the most space, apologized weakly. I've said it all, don't squeeze me anymore, I'm going to be out of breath. All the advanced agents shouted in unison, opened the turtle shell, and each of them breathed greedily. Ah! Are these guys idiots? Nami couldn't help complaining. Be careful, Nami, there seems to be someone missing. Juvia was concentrating, and then suddenly her eyes widened. Underground, I will handle it. Nami responded with a full mouth. She clenched the Taurus whip in her hand. Light of pale gold magic gathers at the tip of the whip. With Nami's swing, it fell heavily on the ground. Earth waves! Exclamation mark. The magic skill attached to the Taurus star spirit clothes exploded. Boom! Rumble! The earth grumbled and crumbled under Nami's magic. Ah ah ah! The lock advanced agent walking underground, Miss Merry Christmas, the zone mouse fruit mole form ability, screamed, was shocked by the terrifying fluctuations, and fell into a coma on the spot. Get ten million first. Nami sticks out her tongue with a smug expression on her face. Ah ha ha don't get carried away, it's time for us to fight back. Harsh laughter sounded from the air. I don't know when. Miss Valentine has already floated above Nami's head. I am a light and heavy person who eats the light and heavy fruit of Paramisha. I can freely control my own weight, and I am ready to accept ten thousand kilograms. Gulilu. Before Miss Valentine could finish her sentence, she abruptly turned into a drowning murmur. That's because Juvia made a move. Exclamation mark. Water restraint! Exclamation mark. Juvia waved her hand lightly. A water dungeon is generated out of thin air. Lock up Miss Valentine who has not yet had time to make a move in the air. Even if a strong person at the Four Emperor's level falls into the sea, he can't overcome the wind and waves. Not to mention a small miscellaneous fish like Miss Valentine. Juvia's next move has not been connected yet. Miss Valentine's eyes turned white, and she fainted completely. So weak. Juvia blurted out. It's not that the advanced agents are weak. It's that everyone in fairy tale is too strong. The princess Vivi, who was watching, murmured in shock. Wow, how could such a thing happen? What kind of ability is that blue-haired woman? This is unscientific. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three screamed again and again. She, 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 she can actually produce and control water out of thin air. Could it be that she is a low-gear water fruit user? The tough guy and lady boy Bentham also had a ghostly expression on his face. Water is the natural enemy of those with abilities. How could someone have the devil fruit ability to control water? Isn't this invincible? Miss, who is the calmest on weekdays, also lost her color with her fingers, disorganized. As demon fruit power, they met Juvia who could control water, and they were almost overwhelmed. In short, this woman is not something we capable people can handle. Mr. Four, I'll leave it to you. Mr. Three Lian Chan. Yes. Mr. Four responded dully. Hold a four ton bat with both hands. Hit like a baseball player. Juvia, leave this guy to me too. Nami was full of enthusiasm and took the initiative to play. As long as you defeat an enemy, you can get 10 million rewards. This is what drives Nami to fight. And it can stimulate all her potential. Nami flicked the Taurus whip and wrapped it around Mr. Four's metal bat with lightning speed. Huh? In just a moment of stupefaction. Mr. Four found that the bat in his hand was missing. At this time, boom, Dax Hund Rasa spews out a ticking time bomb. Mr. Four should have used the bat to hit the bomb precisely where the enemy is. But now without the bat, the inherent rhythm is interrupted. For a moment Mr. Four was also at a loss. Finally, in the ear-piercing beeping sound, the time bomb blew up Mr. Four himself. But, for a tank like Mr. Four, bombs can't take it away in one wave. At this time, Nami's offensive came again. Nami flying kick, accompanied by a crisp drink. The girl fell from the sky. Take the pose of Leo flying kick. He kicked hard on the buzzing Mr. Four. Whoosh, the tall man like a mountain of meat suddenly flew backwards. Boom, rumble. Mr. Four, lose. Twenty million, get. Nami happily gestured yes. Dot. Chapter 30 Urza approves Mr. Two Bentham. Okay, well done, Nami. You are amazing. Seeing the little sister Nami easily get a double kill, Vivi couldn't help but flushed with excitement, and the blood in his body was boiling. If it wasn't for her knowing that her own strength was really low, forcing her to join the battle would only slow her down, so she would definitely have to join the battle. No, no, how can I be so powerful? Nami touched the back of his head in embarrassment, and spoke modestly. To be honest, 
Even Nami himself was taken aback by his power. This is the first time she has used this power since she obtained the Taurus Star Spirit clothing. Nami himself knows how much he weighed in his original self. Compare it to yourself who easily kills Barlock advanced in seconds. The span of strength between these is not just a simple description. All of this is thanks to joining Fairy Tail. Being able to join Fairy Tail is the greatest luck in my life. Nami thought to himself. Sudden, sudden change. Accompanied by the ear-piercing sound of breaking wind, a hedgehog-like thing slams at Nami. Nami little, Vivi's alarmed reminds has not yet fallen. Next second, the water flow cuts through. Juvia waved her hand lightly. A huge water blade shoots out, knocks Ala into the air with both fingers of Miss who was distracted by Nami. Water flowing whip. Water flow rises. Water flowing twin fangs. Water flow. Ah. Is this over already? Juvia froze. A set of small tricks has already taken away Mrs. Finger Zella with a reward of 35 million. As Mr. One's partner, Miss means that Zella's strength cannot be considered weak. The lethality of Paramecia thorn fruit is not low. Unfortunately, this time she met Juvia. The water element, water magic sky grams demon fruit power. But her thorns cannot cause any damage to the water element. Such a one-sided result would be expected. The battle started in just a few minutes. Four more of the nine advanced agents of the Baroque Lock Agency were lost in battle. Nami and Juvia each took two kills, plus the Buddha man who was dealt with by Suyu in the first place. There are still four of the nine agents left. Wait a moment, Vivi's beautiful eyes swept across the battlefield. Only the top three digital agents are confronting Urza. There should be one more person left, but... Vivi looked all over the battlefield, but couldn't find it anywhere, until, Vivi, don't be so nervous, come and have afternoon tea together. So you greeted casually, Vivi turned around, then widened her beautiful eyes, because she suddenly found out, the last advanced agent who disappeared, at the moment, she is sitting opposite Suyu, drinking black tea and eating senbai leisurely, Ms. Dot 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 golden week, President Suyu, she 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 dot 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 she is, you said Marianne, she's my new friend, Suyu smiled slightly. Huh? Vivi couldn't help being stunned. So you became friends with Miss Golden Week, an advanced agent from Lockworks. Marion is a very well-behaved and quiet girl, and she is very good at drawing. Mirajan smiled, for the well-behaved and quiet Miss Golden Week. She also fell in love with it immediately. Even Miss Myra dot 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 wait. Vivi thought of the rumors she heard when she undercovered Barlock. Advanced agent Miss Golden Week has a very special ability. Can manipulate people's emotions through painting and even turn enemies into friends. Could it be that even President Suyu and Miss Myra have been recruited? Vivi was startled suddenly. Vivi, come over and eat some. I've done a lot. Mirajan greeted. Um, Vivi nodded, making up her mind. If it's what she thinks, then it's up to her to find a solution here. The other side. A ruined area of? Weathered rock. Damn it. He was defeated so easily. Can this also be ranked as an advanced agent with us? He is really useless. Mr. 3 Mr. Dot 3 secretly slandered. I thought the nine secret agents would attack together. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. However, the reality gave him a ruthless big bag. The opponent's strength is far beyond their imagination. The original 8 to 3 situation. In an instant, it became 3 against 3. Not to mention that the opponent also has an ultimate boss finale. This is simply an impossible task. Mr. 3 rolled his eyes and began to think about countermeasures. Ilashor. Let's help too. Nami said. No need, Nami, Juvia, you guys just rest on the sidelines for a while, leave these three guys to me. Urza said. Do you actually want to fight against our three secret agents with one person? Don't underestimate the slave family. Tough guy and ladyboy Bentham suddenly exploded. Shemal boxing, gorgeous swan dance. It is so powerful that it is enough to kick away the prison beast boss sphinx with one blow and attack Urza. Urza didn't dodge or dodge defending Bentham's kick with the two swords in her hand. At the same time launch a defensive counter-attack. The sword of Tan Lun fell from all directions. Shemal boxing, Xia Tan's memoir of that year. Tough guy Shemal Bentham rotates at high speed around the body, like a large spinning top defense. It repels all flying swords. But, in the collision between flesh and blood and the magic flying sword, only the flesh and blood will be injured in the end. When the rotation stopped, the tough guy and ladyboy Bentham was covered in bruises and blood. Even so, he still didn't fall down and stood up. Even Urza couldn't help being moved by such a tenacious spirit. You are the first respectable opponent I have encountered in this world. Urza spoke seriously, and recognized Bentham as her opponent. Originally, I looked at Bentham's male and female attire. Urza still felt a little irritated and uncomfortable. However, after the actual battle, she also felt the tenacity of Bentham, a tough guy and lady boy. A warrior with a tenacious spirit is worthy of respect. It's really an honor to be recognized by the enemy, so please enjoy it. My last way of being a lady boy, bursting swan dance music. The tough lady boy Bentham grinned and unleashed his strongest move. Bring it on, Urza, the armor of the sky wheel, clenched the double swords in her hands. In order to show her recognition for Bentham, she responded with all her strength. Sky wheel sword of pentagram. Dot. Chapter 31, Emperor Yan's armor. Urza versus Mr. One. Tan Lun, the sword of the pentagram. Exclamation mark.
In the form of the armor of the Skywheel, Urza's strongest move exploded. The two swords in his hands draw a huge pentagram orbit in an instant, shining in the world. Ah, goodbye, that winter, tough guy ladyboy Mr. Two bent them, lost. The strong ladyboy's flower withers. That guy Mr. Two is really an idiot. He rushed up like a fool knowing that he couldn't win, but it happened. I've seen that guy upset for a long time. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three sneered, and then silently walked to the side of Mr. One Desbonies. Mr. One, let's join forces. You attack directly, and I will assist you. At least one person must be taken down as a bargaining chip. Proposal for Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three. Desbonies, the green-skinned male monk, didn't respond at all. Still just standing there calmly, motionless. Brother Three frowned displeased. However, he did not wait for him to continue lobbying. Swish. The sharp breaking wind came with the cold air. Mr. Three's pupils shrank suddenly. Candle wall. The solid defensive wall is instant. Blocking the direct hit of Urza's flying sword when there is no time to send. If the tiger doesn't show its power, don't really think that I'm easy to bully. The Emperor's third brother went into a rage. Paramisha wax wax fruit ability, fully open. Liquid wax gushed out of its body. Solidified and formed under his control. In the end, it turned into a small white candle titan armor completely surrounding Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three. See, this is my most outstanding work of art, Candle Champion. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three laughed triumphantly. Urza said nothing. Between waves, the sword of the sky wheel goes back and forth. Jingle. Sounds like iron strikes sounded one after another. It's useless to say it all. Your sword can't hurt me anymore. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three is proud. Although it's a candle, it's really amazing hardness. Urza nodded slightly. As Mr. Three said, the flying sword of the heavenly wee Lama really couldn't break through his defense. But, Urza still has at least a hundred ways to defeat him. Among the various armors collected by Urza, the armor of the sky wheel is only the most basic one. It is generally used for group attacks, and the attack power of a single target is not significant. Any other moves, just choose them. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three completely carried himself away. Since it's wax, then use this. Urza makes a decision. Dress up! Exclamation mark. Gorgeous light blooms. Urza's image changed dramatically. Instead of the armor of the sky wheel, what appeared in people's eyes was a pair of fiery red armor. Yan Emperor's armor! Exclamation mark. Oh, oh, Urza has transformed again. So handsome. Nami and Vivi, who saw Yandi's armor for the first time, couldn't help screaming in shock. Where is this? A loser has dozens of sets of armor. Mira Jane and Juvia said. Nani. Both Nami and Vivi couldn't help being stunned. The other side, looking at Urza who is holding a flaming sword and exuding a scorching aura like flames all over her body. The third brother is also stupid. Wait dot 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 wait a moment dot 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 what kind of ability do you have? Why do you still have the fire attribute? This is a foul. It is undoubtedly a foul dot 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 uh, Just as Mr. Three and Mr. Dot Three screamed loudly. Urza, the armor of Emperor Yan swooped forward. The flaming sword swung. Instantly ignited Mr. Dot Three's candle champion. Ugh, it's so hot. Mr. Three Mr. Dot Three hurriedly escaped, rolled all over the ground, and extinguished the flames on his body. What moves do you have? Just choose them. Urza smiled slightly. Return what Mr. Three said earlier. Wait dot 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 wait a moment. There are dot 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 let me prepare. Mr. Three sees the opportunity and delayed for a while. Paramisha wax wax fruit starts again. Wax museum! Exclamation mark under the weight of death. Mr. Three exploded to its full potential. It didn't take long to create tens of hundreds of candle avatars, densely scattered among the weathered rock areas. Oh, Urza frowned, showing some interest. In her past, all these candle clones made by Mr. Three can be driven by him. However, Urza somewhat overestimated Mr. Three. These wax doubles are just wax figures. It's okay to confuse the public but it doesn't have the slightest power to act. Mr. Three made the wax doppelganger just to fight for the chance to escape for himself. Be aware of this. Urza shook her head in disappointment. The Emperor Yan's sword waved. The raging flames burned up all the wax figures. Don't bother with the clown Mr. Three anymore. Urza turned around, and the Yan Emperor's armor was retracted. Her eyes fell on the last Mr. One Daz bonus. The guy who got in the way has finally completely disappeared. Finally, Dazbanis, who had been silent until now, spoke. Aren't they your partners? Urza said in a low voice. Partner? It's just a bunch of trash that drags its feet. Dazborna sneered. Urza's pretty face was slightly gloomy. Fairy tale valued its companions the most, and would never allow others to insult them. Okay, don't care about those rubbish, just use your strongest moves to attack. Of course, don't think about winning, the only thing waiting for you is defeat. Dazborna spoke calmly. TCH, what are you so proud of? The last one said that Urza's sword couldn't hurt him, but now he's burned to the ground. Urza. Come on, beat the stinky guy. Nami waved his fist angrily, cheering for Urza. Urza said nothing. Step forward calmly. There is no armor that converts power. Just attack Dasbornis in the most common form. Dasbornis did not dodge or dodge. 
blocking with his flesh and blood arm. Jingle, the sound of gold and iron clashing continued one after another. The sharp magic swords clashed continuously with Dasbani's arm, sparking dazzling sparks. I see. The first round of probing attacks ended. Urza and Dasbani's retreated respectively. Your body is as hard as steel. If you can't cut the steel, you can't cut it. Urza saw through Dasbani's confidence. Dot. Chapter 32 Urza Haki advances. Sword cuts Mr. One. The secret of your ability to withstand my sword strikes is your body as hard as steel. If you can't cut through steel, you won't be able to defeat you. As I said in one word where Desbanese relied. That's right. I'm the one who ate the dice dice fruit. Hitting and slashing are useless to me. Fairy Queen Erda, I admit that you are strong, but, Dasborn has changed the subject. Since I got this ability, no swordsman can hurt me. No swordsman can defeat me, Mr. One said confidently. Oh, Urza raised an eyebrow. Originally after seeing through the mystery of Daz Boney's ability, Urza was already planning to change her outfit, and defeated it with her powerful armor. The armor of the Sky Wheel really cannot break through the defense of the steel body. But, Urza has many other options. For example, the Andy armor that defeated Mr. Three earlier. The power of fire that comes with it is something that Daz Boney's is not immune to. There is also the lightning attack of the Thunder Emperor's armor, the beam cannon of the star armor, and so on. Certainly, even simpler and cruder is the armor of purgatory, which is extremely destructive to a single target. With the absolute destructive power of the purgatory armor, it can easily crush steel. Also, there are also the strongest goblin armor, the celestial armor that can activate celestial magic, the heavenly god armor that can only be used after liberating the second magic source, and the real strongest opening mode the pure heart garment! Exclamation mark. There are many ways to cut steel. The fast slashing steel body that Desbonese is proud of, to Erda, there is no threat at all. As long as the powerful armor is used a little, the end of the battle is only a matter of an instant. Only, Erza couldn't pretend that she didn't hear Dasbani's arrogant statement that a swordsman can never beat him. Although there are suspicions of being aggressive, Erza wants to defeat Dasbani's with a pure sword. For her in common mode, it is a little difficult to do this. But, it's a different matter if you add her newly learned powers of this world. In the past ten or so days, Urza has been able to release armament Haki proficiently through dueling with Suyu. Come on, quickly put on your previous flame armor. The flame attack of that armor may be able to cause some damage to me. Daz Bornis reminded. Only when Yandi's armor is Urza's strongest whole card. Thanks for the reminder, but it's not necessary. Urza held the sword in both hands with a firm expression. Dot. Why doesn't Miss Urza change her armor? On the fairy tale, Vivi was secretly anxious. Probably because of what Mr. One said before. Urza wants to end this battle with a swordsman. Let us wait and see. So you smiled. Dot. I've already given you the advice. Since you don't listen, don't complain after you lose. Dasbanese said coldly. The moment the voice fell, his figure shot out suddenly. Five fingers become claws, and then turn into sharp blades under the action of dice dice fruit. Master the cut. When Urza blocked Dasbanese's charge with a horizontal knife, the sharp blades glided with each other. Sparking. Urza let out a breath. Black's air flow gradually wound towards the blade. Armament Haki, trigger success. The moment Armament Haki finishes winding, Dasbani's complexion suddenly changed. From Urza's black sword, he felt a strong threat. Obviously, I didn't feel anything a second ago. But when the armed color was entwined, he actually felt a faint pain in his five fingers. Dasbani's was startled by this sudden change, and hurriedly backed away to distance himself. Looking carefully at the five fingers of his right hand, Fine blood stains appeared on his fingers. Nanny. Dasbani's pupils shrank suddenly, and he couldn't believe that Urza had hurt herself with a sword. What are you in a daze for? Just as Dasbani's was shocked, Urza swung her armed black sword and attacked. The pitch black sword edge cut across a perfect arc and slashed towards Mr. One. Dasbani's instinctively raised his hand to block. Poo. Blood splattered. At the same time, it was accompanied by severe pain. A bloody gash appeared on Dasbani's arm. What did you do? What power is on this sword? Dasbani's yelled in shock and the expression on his face was no longer as arrogant and relaxed as before. Since obtaining this ability, this was the first time he was injured by a mere swordsman. This should be the power of this world, don't you know? Urza looked at Dasbanese strangely. As a native of this world, he doesn't even understand the power of this world. Asking this question to her, another world person, really lacks common sense. Listening to Urza's rhetorical question, Dasbanese eyelids twitched. He realized that he might have really asked a stupid question. Could this be? Haki, Dasborn has thought of the answer. That's right. Urza nodded. Sure enough, I didn't expect you to have even learned Haki. If that's the case, I can no longer treat you as a common swordsman. Dasbanese looked solemn, ready to fight. Destroying crack. Mr. One strikes again. Between waving, 
The terrifying sharpness attacked her. Urza dodges and dodges. A few strands of crimson hair fell down. And that's all. Drink. Urza snorted softly. Concentrate fully on the Haki trigger. Because I haven't fully mastered the use of Haki. The black lacquer on Urza's sword appears and disappears from time to time. Although it can only cut through enemies when Haki is attached. But this is already a big crisis for Mr. One. If things go on like this, even scraping can kill it. Realizing this. Daspanis immediately decided to make a quick decision. Spiral slash. Darth Bonis unleashes his strongest moves. The arms turned into overlapping blades, spinning wildly like an electric drill. The sudden onslaught did suppress Erza for a time, but, quickly, Erza adapted to his offensive and gradually regained the situation. Utilize the oppressive feeling brought by Daz Bonis to further sharpen and upgrade your own haki. It's over, on the fairy tale, so you spoke lightly. Let's continue our conversation, Marianne. Do you want to join fairy tale? Dot. Chapter 33 G Lockdial was scared and wanted to run away. Desert Battlefield. The fierce battle between Erza and Mr. One Desbonis lasted for ten minutes. After paying the price of several strands of hair and partial damage to the armor, Erza finally struck the winning blow. The long sword rendered completely black by armament Haki slashed down with lightning speed. Poo. The bright red blood rose more than one meter high. Dasbornis fell to his knees weakly, as expected of the Fairy Queen. I underestimated you. Snapped. The last Barlock advanced agent Dars bonus. Lost. Exclamation mark. Oh, oh, oh. Urza one Urza is really amazing. Nami. The audience outside the stadium, did not hesitate to praise and cheer. You actually defeated the enemy with a simple sword, as expected of Urza. Juvia was also full of praise. No, I'm still far away. The so-called Haki power in this world, there are still many mysteries worthy of my discovery. Urza, who has felt the power of Haki, is full of longing. If only one day, she is able to skillfully combine Haki with the armor of the Skywheel. Dozens of hundreds of armed magic black swords have been created. That must have been a very spectacular picture. Certainly. Now she is still far from that realm. The road still needs to be walked step by step. Fairy tale. Win. Miss Erza won. It's really great. Now, the advanced agents are almost wiped out. Vivi screamed excitedly. For this result, the expressions on the faces of Suyu and Mirajan didn't change much, because I knew it from the beginning. Now, Suyu's gaze fell on quiet Lilia across from her. Marion, what are you thinking now? Do you want to join us in fairy tale? Suyu asked with a smile. Recruiting Miss here for Golden Week is just Suyu's whim. First of all, the well-behaved, quiet, and laid-back little Lily is really attractive. Secondly, Suyu remembered that Miss Golden Week is not demon fruit power. Her means of manipulating emotions through paint is a superpower unique to her birth. She is a rare natural superpower in this world, and she is very cherished. Finally, there is the character of Miss Golden Week. Although it went astray for a while, but she cherishes her companions no less than everyone in Fairy Tale. For the sake of mystical purpose, Barlock's agents had little contact with each other. As for the identity of the boss Lock Dial, it was only known at the last moment. However, even such a partner, after Miss Golden Week learned that they had been arrested, she still did not hesitate to risk herself and embarked on the journey of saving people without hesitation. This quality of cherishing partners is qualified to join Fairy Tale. Hatilda, for the solicitation from Suyu. Miss Golden Week is still a leisurely look. She breathed lightly and drank the green tea in the cup in one gulp. Thanks for the hospitality. Miss Jin Zudao thanked her, but still did not reply. It is precisely because she values her comrades that she will not join the enemy's camp now that her comrades are defeated. By the way, this is what Miss Isle Sunday asked me to pass on to you, and our boss will come here in person today. Nanny, boss. Is that clock da? Vivi was taken aback immediately. That's it. Let's settle this matter first. So you stood up. Look southeast. He doesn't have observation haki though. But dragon slaying magic also comes with powerful perception. He has already noticed the peepers in the dark. Not just lock dial, but another voyeur as well. It's all here, and you're still hiding. Are you a surat? So you teased. Between raising hands, there was a thunderstorm. Boom. The terrifying thunder blasted away a huge weathered rock mountain. Next time. I won't hit it crookedly, so you said lightly. Gah ha 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 ha! The wind and sand are flying, hiding in the dark. Shikai Bukai G Lockdial finally shows up. He also held a dry corpse in his hand. That was Mr. Three who sneaked away with the help of the Wax Museum move. Gah ha ha ha! Being able to defeat our agency's advanced agents with an almost overwhelming advantage, I have to admit, fairy tale, you really have two tricks. Shikai Bukai Gram Lockdial smiled calmly. On the surface, he is as stable as an old dog, but in fact. His heart has long been filled with turbulent waves. From the beginning, the beginning of the encounter between Agent Advanced and Fairy Tale. He is already lurking here. So, he also witnessed the scene where Suyu sent Mr. Four flying into the sky with a lightning punch. Peek into Madara and see the panther. Only this blow. Enough for Clockida to place Suyu in the most dangerous category. Even from Suyu's body. Clock Dial gave birth to the feeling when he faced the top players in New World. Not just Suyu. The rest of Fairy Tale isn't average either. Erda, the Fairy Queen. 
obviously has other powerful means. However, he defeated his most powerful subordinate with the simplest sword skill. That last armed sword was enough to threaten Lodia's her, except her. It was Juvia who was even more shocking and alarming to Locke. In Clock Dahl's view, Juvia is simply a Lodia fruit capable person. As a person with abilities, he can control the water element that those with abilities fear most. This is simply cheating! Exclamation mark. Ability users are already at a disadvantage when facing water. For sand restrained by water, it is simply double attribute restraint. To be honest, after witnessing the overwhelming power of Fairy Tail, Locke Dahl didn't want to show up. He was even ready to pack his bags and run away in the rain. However, Without waiting for him to retreat, Suyu's thunder just landed and blasted him out. As a Shikai Bukai, wouldn't it be embarrassing to run away without even showing your face? This is how the picture is now. Only, if Clock Dahl knew the price he had to pay for this face, he would definitely wish to give the face-loving self two big comparisons. Dot. Chapter 34 Start the War Suyuf's G Lock Dahl Clock Ida, are you messing with everything? You are the behind-the-scenes boss of the Lock Work Agency. For so many years, you have been lurking in Alabaster playing the so-called hero. What do you want to do? What is your purpose? Vivi's angry roar echoed under the sky. Gahahaha, don't be so excited, Miss Wednesday, or you should be called Alabaster Princess Vivi. Shikai Bukai G. Lockdahl spoke unhurriedly. As a member of the Barlock Work Association, you should be very clear about the goals, but it doesn't make much sense to talk about it now. Lockdahl changed the subject. Princess Vivi, you have really found a group of powerful helpers. I have been planning for several years, but because of you, it is almost completely bankrupt. Since you know how powerful we are, why don't you hurry up and surrender? Maybe you can save your life. Nami yelled and threatened. Who do you think I am? Lozi is Shikai Bukai. Since you know my secret, I can only kill you all here, and none of you can leave alive. Lokdal paused every word, and opened his mouth coldly, even though there was a lot of panic in his heart. His momentum was not weak. Only the mouth is hard in the whole body. Shikai Bukai, let me show you what you can do. Urza has no fear of Clock Eater's intimidation, and she is full of fighting spirit. Wait, Urza, with a flash of lightning, so you came to Urshua and patted her on the shoulder. Everyone has worked hard, let's go back to the boat and rest for a while, and leave the final finishing work to me. So you smiled. Yes, President. Juvia obediently agreed. President, you must beat that guy to the ground. Nami waved a small powder fist. Then leave it to the president. Urza also restrained her fighting spirit. Suyu turned around and looked at Clock Dar on the weathered rock. Okay, let's stop talking nonsense to each other, let's make a break. Suyu said lightly. The voice have not yet reached Clock Dar's ears. His figure has already come close to Clock Dar. For Suyu's sudden flash of lightning, Clock Dar was also taken aback, but his reaction speed was not slow. He raised his hand and shot out a sharp desert sword. Boom. Huge pieces of weathered rock were cut in two. Suyu was also cut across the board. It's just, and there is no blood. What Clock Eater's desert sword cut off was only the afterimage of the electric light. Desert Vajra Saba. The hands and arms of Clock Dar turned into four sand swords. As the figure rotated, he attacked indiscriminately in all directions, although it is a blade formed of sand. But its sharpness is not inferior to the famous sword, enough to easily unfold a solid rock wall. Next second, boom. The dull sound like the beating of war drums exploded. The bright gold lightning suddenly exploded. The clock dar desert diamond sword collided with Suyu's thunder fist. The terrifying force caused the weathered rocks around the two of them to collapse one after another. Just a moment of stalemate. The desert diamond sword broke a huge gap under the incomparable power of the thunder fist. Clock he'd flew upside down. Finally, he stood again on the weathered rock mountain 100 meters away. Kai Kai, his body surfaced as electric light looming. The body fell into a state of paralysis. But soon, the remaining electricity in its body is guided into the ground as much as possible. Come on, go ahead, let me enjoy a little longer. So you flicked his right hand lightly. The powerful electric current intertwined with a growth gun, piercing through the void, and in an instant it came to Clock Eater and exploded it. As the wind and sand flew, Clock Dahl's figure reunited his face as black as the bottom of a pot, extremely gloomy and unsightly. Heavy Shallon Clock Dahl roared angrily, and waved a salamander roll. The tornado of Shasha rose against the wind, and it didn't take long for it to turn into a tornado like a natural disaster, crazily destroying everything around it. One piece after another, huge pieces of weathered rock were crushed by the tornado, and then absorbed, accelerated by the gust of wind, it becomes a weapon more terrifying than bullets. If an ordinary flesh and blood body is involved, it is bound to be torn to pieces by the strong wind and gravel in an instant. As expected of the Shikai Bukai, there are indeed two brushes, as I said solemnly. But for the president, it's all trivial. An attack of this level can't even touch the president's clothes Kakasu. An attack that can't be touched is useless no matter how strong it is, Nami said relaxed and freehand. However, the next second, something happened that she didn't expect. She just said that Lok Dahl's attack could not touch Suyu. With his back foot, Suyu took the initiative to rush into the opponent's desert. How did this happen, President Suyu? Vivi's beautiful eyes widened, 
and panic appeared on her pretty face. Don't worry, Vivi, that's the president. Mirajan smiled. She has absolute trust in Suyu. Since Suyu dared to rush in, it meant he was absolutely sure. That's exactly what happened. It has been nearly four months since I came to Pirate World. Shikai Bukai level clock Da was the first qualified opponent Suyu encountered. Suyu, who has never fought seriously, wants to enjoy this fight to the fullest. This moment, in the terrifying heavy Shallon, Suyu stood in the air calmly. The gravel accelerated by the centrifugal force of the tornado tore his clothes, but it couldn't cause the slightest damage to Suyu's body. The bright gold lightning swam around Suyu's body, like armor turned into thunder and lightning. With Suyu's mind moving, gold's lightning suddenly expanded and defeated Shallan's tornado forcefully. Suyu is like the god of thunder and lightning. Lightning flashes from all directions around him. It raged in all directions, triggering a series of terrifying explosions. For a long time, the shaking subsided. The smoke cleared. Suyu and Clock Da were standing on the rocky mountain, wanting to look at each other. Cool. Clock Da took a deep breath forcing himself to suppress the palpitations in his heart. That's about it. G lock Dado. I'm sure, your thunder, we can't tell the winner based on our abilities. Dot. Chapter 35th, The Mystery of Dragon Slayer Singing the Thunder! Exclamation mark. Let's stop here. It's futile to continue fighting. With our abilities, we can't tell the winner. Lock Dahl pretended to be calm, and spoke in a deep voice. Want to come in Clock Da? He has shown his strong side. The other party should also be able to feel that he is not easy to mess with and he has already given the step. It is the best ending to just end the struggle and point to each other. However, contrary to Lok Dial's expectations for the steps he gave, so you didn't mean to go down at all. Are you so scared that you want to run away? I haven't even finished warming up yet. Suyu's teasing opening directly exposed Clock's disguise. What did you say? Lok Dalton was furious when his ideas were debunked. Don't forget, this is the desert, and it's my home field. In the terrain of the desert, as Logia sand sand fruit, I am invincible and I am the king of the desert," Lok Darth said in a restrained and intimidating way. Since you're so confident, don't talk nonsense anymore, just let me see the gold content of the so-called king of the desert. So you didn't like anything, so he made up his mind to compete with him. Since you insist on this, then don't be later. Lok Darth's harsh words have not yet finished. Next second, the pupils of his eyes constricted. Suyu, who was locked in his line of sight, has disappeared without a trace. What followed was an unprecedented death threat. It was as if a giant dragon was watching him looking down on him. It's really annoying to be long-winded. Suyu's faint voice suddenly exploded like thunder. Clock Dial looked up suddenly. The fist that was brighter than the sun kept enlarging in his pupils. Thunder Dragon's collapsing fist. Ang Tilda. There seems to be a giant dragon roaring between the sky and the earth. Boom. Rumble. The roar of the sky collapsing followed closely behind. Previously, Suyu said that he was still in the warm-up stage. Was not a lie. Clock Ida thought he had found out the details of Suyu's lightning ability. As everyone knows, until now, what Suyu used was only the most basic elemental magic of thunder and lightning. This blow is the real thunder dragon slayer magic. Compared with common's lightning magic, its destructive power is several times more powerful. My god, is this the true strength of the present? Looking at the weather drop area that was almost flattened by Suyu's punch, Nami was so shocked that he couldn't add it. President Suyu, you are really amazing. Vivi flushed with excitement. The president made a move, and he was able to catch it with his hands. I'm afraid that arrogant guy has been beaten to the ground. Juvia laughed. No. Not yet. Urza's eyes were fixed, and she saw the wind and sand gradually gathering in the corner of the battlefield. Cough cough cough. A painful cough sounded. The flying sand condenses into shape. Shikai Bukai clock dial half knelt on the ground, opening his mouth to spit out a mouthful of blood with an electric arc. He thought he had almost figured out the details of Suyu. The opponent's thundering ability may be stronger than his own in terms of performance but relying on the desert's home field advantage. He would never lose. However, after witnessing Suyu's berserk attack earlier, Lokdal knew he was wrong, dead wrong. He is still far from touching the bottom of this man. What's the matter? Crocodile, isn't this going to work? Suyu said lightly sarcastically. Could it be that I'm only at your limit with just a little shot? The so-called Shikai Bukai, after all, is nothing more than this level. Snort. Crocodile snorted coldly. Suyu's ridicule and ridicule aroused his inner anger. He didn't know how many years but someone dared to underestimate him so much. Especially the other party is still a rookie kid who just joined the Grand Line. This is simply a shame and humiliation for Clock Dial. If your purpose is to piss me off completely, then congratulations, you succeeded, and then I will show you the real hell. Clock Dial opened his mouth faintly. Oh, then I really want to see, your so-called scene of hell. With his hands behind his back, Suyu waited quietly on the rocky mountain, giving Zucker Lock Dahl time to launch his ultimate move. You won't be able to laugh right away. G Lock Dahl clenched his teeth. His big hand slammed to the ground. Erosion. Reincarnation. Exclamation mark. Logius and Sand Fruit ability, 
fully open, under the image of Clock Eater's power, the weather drop of Fang Yuan's kilometer cracks and decomposes at a speed visible to the naked eye. The time before and after is just a few breaths. All rocks are reduced to gravel. Immediately afterwards, Clock's body is transformed into sand elements, and it blends with the desert land. Boom, rumble. The desert earth trembled violently. The vast desert land seemed to be resurrected, dancing its huge body wantonly. The desert is like the sea, or in a sense, the desert is also an ocean. A sea of sand. There are waves in the sea. There are sand waves in the desert. The Shashaman Glock Eater who ate the ability of Logia and sand fruit seemed to become the lord of the desert. Under his control, the boundless land of yellow sand created layers of waves. One meter, ten meters, fifty meters, a hundred meters. The waves of sand under Clock Eater's control rise against the wind. In the end, it turned into a terrifying desert tsunami with a height of 100 meters. The sight is terrifying! Exclamation mark. Such a huge volume is enough to easily bury a city and destroy an army. At this point, even if you regret it, it's already too late. Get ready to accept the funeral of the Lord of the Desert Sand, Storm, Big, Burial. Clock Dull said coldly, Ho ho, I've never seen this move before. Since you have already shown your last hole card, then I should be a little more serious. Kai Kai. The gold-plated thunder surged out of Suyu's body, boundless, like a sea of thunder and lightning. Dragon Slayer Mystery Ming, you, thunder, dot. Chapter 36, Dragon Slayer Mystery Defeats Shikai Bukai Sand Crocodile, then dot 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 that dot 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 that dot 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 what the hell is that? Looking at the cascading and turbulent waves of sand, Nami and Vivi couldn't help being stunned. A sandstorm like a tsunami? This kind of thing is simply unheard of. Vivi's pretty face suddenly turned pale and her heart throbbed. The desert battlefield is indeed a unique environment for those with sand abilities. This attack is indeed a bit tricky. Urza looks a little solemn. Miss Urza. The President. The President's words, there must be no problem. Nami swallowed hard, and asked weakly. No problem. It was Juvia who answered Nami with a firm tone. It's true that the sand-capable user's attack was powerful, but with the President's speed, it's easy to dodge it. Mirajan explained. Fortunately, this is an uninhabited desert area. If there is a city behind the president, then you can't avoid it, you can only defeat it head on. Urza spoke. Hatilda. After listening to Urza and Mirajan's explanation, Nami and Vivi finally breathed a sigh of relief, letting go of their hanging hearts. However, reality is always unexpected. Burial in the face of Clark Eda's menacing sandstorm. So you didn't dodge as Urza and Mirajan thought. A real man is to never back down. Whoever gets out of the way first is the dog. Boom, rumble. Suyu is on full power. Thunder's dragon slayer magic was pushed to the extreme. The endless bright thunderbolts are like a vast ocean, with great momentum. Become me a dry bone in the desert. Lokdal roared sharply. The desert tsunami hit Suyu. Suyu neither dodges nor evades. There was neither joy nor sadness on his face. Between waving hands, the sea of thunder boiled. Dragon Slayer Profound Truth Ming Yulai Lost Magic The Mystery of Thunder Dragon Slayer Magic Exploded for the first time in this pirate world. The ocean-like golden thunder clashed head-on with the majestic desert tsunami. The world paled at this moment. Time and space seemed to stand still here. I don't know how long it has been. Maybe just for a moment. Rumble. There was a booming sound like the sky was collapsing. Boom. The most yang, the strongest and the most powerful thunder penetrated the loose desert tsunami. Endless electric snakes roamed among the gravel, attacking everything indiscriminately. The elementalization of Logia ability users is not invincible. Physical attacks can only scatter elements. However, attacks that are also elements can indeed cause damage. Even if Clock Dial hides his body in the vast sea of sand, it is useless because Suyu's Dragon Slayer Profound Truth Thunder is aimed at the entire sand sea. How dot 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 maybe dot 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 ahaga. Amid the collapsing desert tsunami, a scorched figure screamed and flew upside down, hitting the ground, unable to get up again. Fight. End. Exclamation mark. Shikai Bukai G Lock Dial, defeated! Exclamation mark. Shua Tilda. There was a flash of lightning. Suyu returns to Fairy Tale. Pick up the teacup that is still warm, and take a sip. The huge deck was silent at first. Next second. Oh, oh, oh. I won. The president won. Nami cheered happily. I didn't expect to choose to defeat him head on. The president of our family is really haki. Urza sighed. This is also a matter of course because he is the president of our fairy tale. Mira Jane smiled. Meeting. Juvia opened her arms and was about to step forward. At this time, a beautiful figure ran past. She hugged Suyu first. Thank you very much, President Suyu. You saved this country. Vivi spoke gratefully. The red lips left a distinctive mark on Suyu's face. This time, not the intimidation of Whiskey Peak, nor is it to stimulate Juvia's helplessness. Instead, Vivi complied with her heart and took the initiative to offer her thank you kiss. Wow. Seeing Vivi's sudden and bold move, Nami, uh, uh and Mirajan couldn't help but look surprised. Next second, the three of them turned their heads in unison, and their eyes fell on Juvia in unison. What are you doing looking at me like that? Juvia smiled slightly, 
not showing any signs of getting mad. This is also a matter of course, because, according to Juvia, Vivi just kissed Suyu's face. But she already got everything from the president. I even tasted that unforgettable taste. Everything about Suyu is engraved in her body. Compared with Vivi's small fights, the levels of the two parties are completely different. Think here. The sense of superiority in Juvia's heart suddenly arises spontaneously, and naturally she will not be jealous of Vivi anymore. Juvia, you really don't mind? Nami couldn't help asking. It's okay, I'm already an adult. I'm not the same as you little girls. Juvia had a nanny-like smile on her face. Nami. I always feel that Juvia's words coupled with this expression make people very angry but she really can't help it. You can't give yourself up completely just to fight for this breath and stand on the same level as Juvia. Just when Nami was thinking wildly, click, click, the light of the strobe flashed in the air. Ha 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 ha, Sparasi. It's really Sparasi. It's wonderful. It's really a wonderful battle. I believe this will definitely become big news that shakes the world. The loud laughter full of excitement and excitement attracted the attention of Suyu and his party. Erza looked up suddenly, his sharp eyes fixed on the source of the laughter. Is that... A bird? Erza couldn't help but froze. Suits and leather shoes. Talking birds? Mirajan tilted her head cutely. Nami, Vivi, Juvia and others also widened their beautiful eyes in amazement. Only so you. The moment I saw the bird man in a suit that looked like a bird. He has already recognized the identity of the other party. Although I don't know why he is here. But this is a good opportunity for Fairy Tail to become famous. Flappy. The bird man in the suit flapped his wings in the sky, gliding against the wind, and finally landed steadily on the deck of the Fairy Tail. Ahem. It's my first meeting. Everyone from Fairy Tale, I'm Morgens, the president of World Economic News. Please let me interview you all. Dot. Chapter 37 Push Fairy Tale to the World! Exclamation mark. News King Morgans. Zone Bird Fruit Albatross Form Ability. He is the president of the best selling world economic newspaper in the world today. Also has the title of one of the four Uranus of the Dark World. It has a pivotal position in the world news industry. As a senior journalist, Morgans has spent his life trying to make big news. Half a month ago, East Blue Coco Yaxi Village incident occurred. Fairy Tale and its president, Suyu, appeared in the newspaper as a dark horse. The first reward is to reach the top 80 million berry. This caught Morgan's attention. Relying on the keen sense of smell of professional journalists, Morgan's decided that the fairy tale team was not meant to be mediocre. So, he traveled thousands of miles from the Grand Line to East Blue, wanting to collect information and visit. It turned out to be after East Blue. Only then did Morgan's learn that fairy tale had entered the Grand Line. Ever since, he returned to the Grand Line nonstop. Shortly after this, word spread that Alabaster, which had been drought-stricken for two years, had suddenly experienced a torrential downpour covering the country. Morgan's sixth journalistic sense kicks in again. Intuition told him, fairy tale might be in Alabaster, and this rain is also related to them. Ever since, Morgan's was non-stop again. It took two days to get to Alabaster, after some visits and investigations, confirmed the existence of the fairy tale guild, and follow the clues all the way, finally found fairy tale, and it was a full-scale confrontation between fairy tale and Barlock agency. For Morgan's, this was nothing short of luck. Another voyeur that Suyu sensed with a powerful sense before was none other than Morgan's. You are Morgan's, the president of World Economic News, the news king in legendary is actually a birdman. Nami subconsciously opened his mouth in surprise. She has been in the sea for many years, so she is no stranger to the World Economic News. After all, she is not someone like the straw hat who never cares about the news. The newspaper she has read the most over the years is the World Economic News published by Morgans. Now, Nami was unavoidably surprised when the famous newspaper president himself suddenly appeared and he was also a birdman. Ha ha ha, that's right. It's my honor that someone in fairy tale recognized me. For Nami's birdman title, Morgans didn't care at all, but flattered him. Erza frowned slightly, not feeling too cold about his flattery. So, what are you doing here? Erza asked. To be honest, I have been paying attention to fairy tale since East Blue. Your existence is simply the heroes of the era, and you are destined to become the storm of the sea in the next era. Okay, let's stop here for compliments, just say it. Sue interrupted. Ahem. So I'll be blunt, I'm here to witness the birth of Legendary. I want to do a follow-up interview on Legendary's rise. Morgan said seriously, are you so sure we can go all the way to the end? Suyu asked back. Well, to be honest, I wasn't sure at first, and I didn't have the idea of an exclusive interview. But, after seeing the heroic fighting posture of everyone in Fairy Tale, and seeing the picture of Chairman Suyu defeating Shikai Bukailok, I am 100% sure that fairy tale will become a legendary, Morgan said firmly. I love to hear that. Suyu grinned. Then President Suyu, do you agree with my interview? Morgox's A's lit up. Compared to our exclusive interview, you should have something more urgent to report right now. Suyu said. Yeah. Morgan's echoed it again and again. The defeat of Shikai Bukai Lokta is worth reporting, 
and I noticed that those guys seem to be agents of the Lock Agency. Is there a connection between Lock and Lockta, and the lady over here? Morgons's eyes fell on Vivi. If I'm not mistaken, you should be Vivi Princess of Alabaster, Princess, Fairy Tale, Barlock, Shikibukai. There was a story in Morgons's mind that gradually connected. However, specific details need to be added. So you glanced at Mirajan. Mirajan understood immediately. Fairy Tale has been established so far but it has been less than four months. Few people in the world know about the nature of the fairy tale guild. Only a few people in East Blue who have been helped know. That's why they have been looking for commissions to pick them up all the way. This is putting the cart before the horse. In the world of fairy tale, in the case of common, the entrusting party initiates the entrustment to the guild. Then it is up to the wizards of the guild to choose whether to pick it up. In the final analysis, it is still a matter of popularity. Certainly, speaking of popularity, fairy tale still has some. For example, Suyu, who offered a reward of up to 80 million for the first time, but this popularity is negative. The team whose president is rewarded by Marine, in most people's perception, is not much different from the general pirate group. Now, the appearance of News King Morgans is an opportunity. An opportunity to truly introduce the fairy tale guild to the world. You can imagine, when the Alabaster incident came to light, the whole world is bound to shake. And defeating Shikai Bukai, saving Alabaster's fairy tale will also completely reverse the reputation. At that time, there will be an endless stream of commissions from all parties. That time, what Suyu should worry about is not not being able to receive the commission. It's about worrying about entrusting too many things that can't be done. After all, in this pirate world, there are too many people in hell. Dot. Chapter 38 Fairy Tale is famous in the sea! Exclamation mark. Nani Shikibukai Klokdar is the source of the civil strife in Alabaster. How ambitious is he to want to usurp Alabaster? Sure enough, the behind-the-scenes boss of the Barlock Work Agency is Klokdar. I have long suspected that there are not many people who can lead such an organization in the first half of this period. Princess Vivi, you are a daughter of gold, and you have been an undercover agent in the Lock Work Agency for the country for a year. What an amazing princess. Please be sure to accept my exclusive interview. Ha ha ha, of course. Princess Vivi, don't worry. Everyone in Fairy Tale is the core of this incident report, and I'm quite sure about this. The News King Morgans had an enthusiastic conversation with Vivi. With his status as the King of Darkness, there is no need to be too polite to the princess of a country. Being so enthusiastic at the moment is naturally related to Fairy Tale. After all, there will be frequent contacts in the future, and Morgans wants to make a good impression as much as possible. Morgans' interviews and interviews on the Alabaster incident lasted for a full hour. Then, Chairman Suyu, everyone from Fairy Tale, and Princess Vivi, this interview is over for the time being. I'll go back and sort out the materials first, and try to finish the report before the evening. Morgans bid farewell. Before leaving, he pulls out his camera. To Shikai Bukai who was seriously injured and fell to the ground, Lock Dial snapped his face and took continuous shots. After ensuring that there are satisfactory photos, I laughed and rode the wind. What an enthusiastic president. Mirajan complimented. He he. Suyu chuckled. Others don't know, but Suyu, who is a time traveler, is well aware of the nature of this Birdman News King. For the sake of big news. It is commonplace to make up random stories. But, as long as he doesn't discredit Fairy Tale, Suyu doesn't mind working with him. Also, interview with Morgans on the rise of Fairy Tale. Suyu was also slightly interested. Speaking of which, President, what should we do with those people below? Asked Nami. Let's leave this issue to Vivi to decide. Suyu looked at Vivi. I already contacted Koshua an hour ago, and my father also contacted Marine. Let these guys spend the rest of their lives in prison to repent, Vivi said. If it were Suyu who made the decision, I am afraid that the heads of the culprits who have troubled the country will be cut off now. But, since this is the client's decision, then Suyu has nothing to say. Just do it. Not long. The sand dunes in the direction of Yuba are flying with dust. The capable soldiers headed by Koza arrived on horseback. Vivi, you called me over so urgently, what's the matter? Kosho didn't delay, and hurried forward to inquire, without waiting for Vivi to speak. Uh oh oh, Kosho. Look, this. This guy is Clockdale. K. Lockdale. Shikai Bukai Gram Lockdale is defeated, and these guys seem to be agents of the criminal organization Barlock Work Agency. They were all monsters that were offered bounties, but they were all killed. The people in the same group screamed again and again. Nanny. Koza's eyes widened in shock. That's right. It's the fairy tale folks who defeated Clockida and Barlock Works. Vivi proudly explained the ins and outs of everything to Koshua and others. Negotiations yesterday. Speaking of fairy tale, Koshua and the others didn't say anything on the surface. But Vivi can feel it. In fact, they still hold a skeptical attitude in their hearts. But now, Vivi can tell them upright. Fairy tale is the hero who saved Alabaster! Exclamation mark. Dear all that Vivi has to say. Unprecedented huge shock occupied the whole body and mind of Koshua and others. It turns out dot 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 it turns out that everything was done by clock. However, we blame all the crimes on his excellency the king. Damn clock da. 
Tears of regret and anger welled up in people's eyes. I really really appreciate it, fairy tale folks. I apologize for my rudeness yesterday. You are well deserved heroes. Kusha solemnly bowed to thank him. Do not mind. Suyu waved his hand calmly. Okay. The things that should be explained have been explained clearly, and I will leave it to Koshua and the others here, and we will set off back to Albana. Father and the others should already be preparing for the dinner party. Vivi smiled. Then let's go. Suyu nodded. Gravity magic is activated. Fairy tale sails again. The goal is the capital Albana. Hours later, the sun was setting. A magnificent city appeared in the sight of Suyu and others. The capital of Albana has arrived! Exclamation mark. At the same time, World Economic News Hot Air Balloon Headquarters and Major Distribution. Thousands of printers are firing on all cylinders. Tens of thousands of newsbirds are ready to go. 6 p.m. World Economic Evening News. Alabast to event special, released. Numerous newsbirds flap their wings and bring news to all parts of the world. The sea shakes at this moment. Exclamation mark. Nani, Shikibukai Usurper Incident. Shikibukai G Lokda actually want to usurp Alabaster, by the way. Isn't Shikibukai a member of the government? Why do you want to treat the member countries? Hey, hey, I care more about fairy tale than Shikibukai. I have an impression of this organization. Not long ago, their captain was offered a reward of 80 million. Isn't this fairy tale a pirate? Why did he become a national hero? Wrong, wrong. Big mistake. Fairy tale is not some pirate group. Accept the entrustment. Solve problems. I will help you if you have difficulties. So that's how it is. This is the fairy tale guild. I want to entrust them to have a look all over the world. Countless people are discussing it constantly, just as Suyu expected. As soon as the Alabaster incident was reported, the reputation of fairy tale in the hearts of the common people has been reversed. Certainly, there is balance in all things in the world. Fairy tale was able to turn positive because of this incident. Relatively, the marine and world government that indulged Shikibukai will become the target of criticism. The disclosure of Shikibukai's usurping the country is destined to be a heavy blow to the prestige of marine and the government. It's just that this has nothing to do with Suyu. If you do something wrong, you must admit it, and if you are beaten, you must stand at attention. Suyu is not the father of Marine in the government, so there is no need to think about them. Dot. Chapter 39 Five Elders Meeting Recruit Suyu to succeed Shikibukai The top of the red line Holy Land, Mari E. Joys This is the center of the world. The world's number one city is located. It is also the residence of the world nobles Celestial Dragons and the base camp of the world government. This moment, Sanctuary Center The magnificent Pangu City Palace The five elders who represent the highest power in the world on the surface Five elders gathered together All because of the Alabaster incident reported by the World Economic News just now Damn clock Eda Damn it for causing us such trouble. Five elders J. Gorusia Satan, who had noble curly hair, cursed in a low voice. Only, the reason why he scolded Locke was not because Locke wanted to steal the country and cause Alabaster to suffer. What really angered him was the huge impact the exposure of this incident had on the prestige of the world government. Just less than half an hour after the news was released, they have already received contact from no less than 20 franchise countries. That bastard Morgans doesn't even know what to report and what not to report. Five elders with short gold hair and a gold beard looked ugly, and this guy, five elders, who was bald and scarred, picked up the 80 million reward on the table. So you, the president of Fairy Tale, this is the second time that Marine and our government have been disgraced, and they themselves have become famous for it. What kind of Fairy Tale guild? This sea is the sea of our world government. Anyone who goes out to sea without permission is fine if they don't cause trouble. Once they make trouble, they are enemies and pirates. Holding a lifelong sword and wearing a white training suit. The swordsman five elders said decisively. The top priority now is Shikibukai's affairs. We must appoint Clockida's successor as soon as possible. The embankment of a thousand miles collapsed in an ant's nest. Once the balance of the three major forces collapses, it will definitely bring a huge direct impact to the world. White hair and white beard five elders spoke solemnly. The other four five elders also nodded one after another. After a moment of silence. Although I am very upset with this guy who made us lose face twice. But in this situation, it should be the best solution to let this guy who defeated Clock Dahl take over as Shikibukai. Five Elders J. Gorusia Satan San offers his opinion. That's true. Although this so-called fairy tale team is just a rookie team, its strength is not bad. In addition, through this incident, it also has a certain reputation. Letting him serve as Shikibukai can save face to a certain extent. Bald Scar Five Elders chimed in. It's true to say so, but, just after this happened, he was invited to become Shikibukai again. Where is the face of our government? The blonde and bearded five elders shook his head. Now is not the time to care about these things. The top priority is to properly handle the follow-up issues. Since these guys want to be the heroes of the people, why not give them this chance? White hair and white beard five elders said. HMPH, if they don't know good and bad, we have to let them know who is the master of this sea. Swordsman five elders sneered again and again. Dot. Naval Headquarters, Marinford. The headquarters building is brightly lit. Marshal's office. That bastard Clock Eater, 
who has been pretending to be safe all these years, is actually doing this behind his back. Marine Admiral Sengoku gritted his teeth, his face turned extremely ugly. Unlike the five elders, Marshal Sengoku is genuinely angry at Clock Eda's kleptocracy. In contrast, Marine's loss of face and prestige is secondary. At the same time, Marshal Sengoku couldn't find anything wrong with Fairy Tail's actions this time. After all, the situation this time is completely different from that of East Blue. The previous East Blue event, Sengoku is unaware of Colonel Mouse's evil deeds. Just because Sui brutally destroyed a Marine base and killed Marine's righteous colleagues, the decision to offer a reward was made. It was too late to know afterwards, and it was irreversible. This time the Alibus to event. Everything has been clearly presented. Even the end result also damaged Marine's prestige. Marshal Sengoku doesn't think there is anything wrong with Fairy Tail. At the same time, he also realized more deeply the mistake of his arbitrary behavior last time. Fortunately, now, there may be room for redemption. Tap. Vice Admiral Crane, the vigorous Marine Chief Staff Officer, came. Sengoku, Alabaster's side, Hina has already gone to contact them first. In addition, Jian and the others are not far from Alabaster. I have notified her to recruit Fairy Tail as our Marine representative. Vice Admiral Crane reports. Well, I don't worry about your work. Marshal Sengoku nodded. After a while, anything else? Seeing Vice Admiral Crane still looking at him, Sengoku couldn't help asking. Sengoku, Clock Da might not be the first about the Shikibukai stealing. Vice Admiral said quietly. Of course I know this kind of thing, Xio. Marshal Sengoku sighed. He is very clear about the meaning of Vice Admiral Crane's words. In present day Shikibukai, a king also exists. It's just that eight years have passed. It's been too long. Besides, we Marine have no right to investigate whether it's the Shikibukai regulations or the world government regulations. Not to mention, that guy has some kind of connection with the government. Marshal Sengoku shook his head helplessly. He would certainly like to do something, if he could. After all, the death of his only son was also related to that man. Although we can't do anything from our standpoint, maybe we can entrust it to others. Vice Admiral has something to say. Xio, do you want to? Dot. New world. Are you kidding? What the hell does this guy mean? The land of love and passion and toys. The Rice Rosa Capital. Royal Palace. King Do Flamingo brows up. Furious. Dot. Chapter 40 Big Shots. Ace entrusts the crusade against the four emperors Kaido. The Rice Rosa. The two-story Highland Palace. Nah. What's the matter? Dover. Nah. What happened? Why are you angry? Nah. Nana blamed to repel with a disgusting snot all over his body. So na na na, King Do Flamingo of the Kingdom of Shikibuka and Darius Rosa did not speak again. It's just that his face was gloomy as if water was dripping out, and the veins on his forehead were even more swollen. Express his inner anger and dissatisfaction. Just a few minutes ago, look at the things reported in the World Economic News about the failure of Clock Da to steal the country. Do Flamingo is still cheerful and has become a fun person, commenting on Clock Eda's plan, full of superiority. As Shikibukai, the two of them have a lot in common. One of the biggest points is that they all once stole the country. It's just that Clock Dahl's plan to steal the country for many years failed, and he succeeded in stealing the country as early as eight years ago. All these years of mixing is called the wind and water. Originally, Do Flamingo was just having fun with the Alabaster incident. Until I saw the last page of the newspaper, Morgans interviewed Suyu, the president of Fairy Tale. Apostrophe dot 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 if you have similar distress, people whose country is oppressed by pirates or Shikibukai, Please feel free to initiate a request to us, Cape Tanya, the mission will be accomplished. Apostrophe. In the eyes of ordinary people, this is just a very common, but the speaker has no intention, but the listener does. The more Do Flamingo read this sentence, the more glaring he felt. His intuition told him that what Suyu said seemed to be provoking and shouting at him, because he has a guilty conscience. The king's position is indeed not right. Hey, Dover, this shouldn't have any special meaning. To report road, maybe, it's just, fairy tale. If you really dare to come here to make troubles, they will definitely let them come and go. Don't confuse me with a piece of trash like clock. Do Flamingo sneered sinisterly. Dot. Sphinx. The white beard pirates. Everyone. The nickname is the nickname. The fairy tale not long ago. This time has another big event. Sage. The captain of the fourth team. Waved the newspaper in his hand and said in surprise. Hey, you're making trouble again. In such a short period of time. What a problematic team. First team captain Phoenix Marco said casually. Marco. What they did is not a bad thing, Sachi corrected. Oh so what did they do? 5th Division Captain Foilfister asked curiously. Clock Eda, they smashed Shikibukai Clock Eda's plot to steal the country this time and saved the country. Sachi shared the newspaper in his hand with a group of partners. Nanny, it's Queer Lock. This is really being beaten so badly. That Queer Lock, I remember challenging Daddy before. Ever since I failed to challenge my father, there's been almost no news about that guy. I didn't expect. But, to be able to make that Clock Dar look like this. The president of Fairy Tale is not ordinary. 
The captains of the Whitebeard Pirates couldn't help but be amazed. The fairy tale guild dot 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 accepts commissions dot 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 does everything. If I entrust them to fight Kaido together, I wonder if it will work. Hugh Oquanes, the captain of the second division, said thoughtfully, entrust fairy tale to defeat Kaido. It's better to avoid it. Ace, first of all, do you have money? The commission to defeat the four emperors is not a small amount. The captain of the third team, Diamond Jaws, said. Ace fumbled all over his pockets, but didn't find a single coin and finally just grinned in embarrassment. Even if the entrustment is really made, the other party may not accept it. After all, the target to be crusaded is the four emperors Kaido, and the likes of Clock are almost the same. Yizang, the captain of the 16th division, shook his head. Besides, even if the other party really took over our commission, in the end, it's just going to Warnock you need to give away the head. Captain Ace, listen to Dad, continue to wait for the opportunity, don't rush for success. Blackbeard teach persuaded. Ah ha ha, that's right. Dot. The island of ghosts in Wanokini, the base camp of the hundred beasts. Um, fairy tale, do these innocent guys want to be heroes? The four emperors Kaido of the beasts sculpt their booze and got drunk. Boom. Wine reds wine gourd shattered with a bang. Heroes, don't laugh your ass off, you little brats, you're just playing house games. The so-called heroes don't end well in the end, oh, a little bit. Dot. Red force, four emperors red hair pirates. Ah ha ha ha, fairy tale, what an amazing team. Four emperors red haired shanks laughed. Shanks. I have a hunch that their appearance may change the existing world pattern. Ben Beckman, the deputy captain of the Red Mission, said solemnly. Well, don't think so much now, drink and drink first. Boss, Baker, here's to the rescue of Alabaster. Oh, dot. Say buddy islands. Thirteenth Red Tree. Shaki's ripped off bar. Fairy tale, what an interesting team. What do you think, old Ray? Over half a century old, Shaki, the proprietress who still has charm, spits out smoke rings. Well, what a team full of youth and vitality. Chairman Suyu, what an enviable man. The big pirate in Legendary, once the right hand of One Piece, Pluton really said enviously. Old, have you committed the same old problem again? Ah ha ha, just kidding, just kidding. Dot. The handsome pirates, Captain, fairy tale from East Blue has made another big event this time and stole the limelight. The deputy captain of the Junmai regiment raised his eyebrows. It doesn't matter, my 200 million bounty is beyond their reach. I am still the brightest heart in the sea this year. More importantly, in terms of beauty, he is absolutely inferior to me. The captain of the handsome regiment, White Horse Cavendish shook his hair with a narcissistic expression. Dot. Chapter 41 Fairy Tale Upgrade Magic Cluster Cannon Jupiter Under the full promotion of the news King Morgans, the events of Fairy Tale and Alabaster continued to ferment. This moment, standing at the center of the world's hot topic is Suyu and his party. Accepting the highest banquet courtesy of the royal family of Alabaster, President Suyu, I, Alabaster, will never forget this great kindness. On behalf of all the people of Alabaster, I would like to respect President Suyu. King Cobra said solemnly, King Cobra, you are being polite. Now that you have accepted Vivi's commission, you must go all out. Suyu raised his glass. Chairman Suyu is really young and promising, let me toast to you again. King Cobra raised his glass again. Okay, Dad, don't you drink a lot on weekdays. Don't force yourself. Besides, when it comes to drinking, even a hundred dads can't compare to the President. Vivi blocked the way. R, R, Vivi. Is your dad such a bad drinker? Don't look at me. Your dad was also a big drinker when he was young. Cobra, who was underestimated by his daughter, suddenly looked unconvinced. It's not that dad's drinking capacity is poor, but that the president is really too strong. Vivi said seriously. Then I will too. The jackal Jika, who is quite confident in drinking, took the initiative to join. And I, Falcon's Bell also volunteered. By the way, Captain Ikeran, aren't you together? Bell looked to Ikeran. No, no. I'll drink it myself. Ikaran waved his hands again and again. Joke. He had seen Suyu drinking in Whiskey Peak. Fighting wine with Suyu, isn't it looking for abuse? Then let's go, the three of us. With the support of the strongest warriors from the two kingdoms, Cobra was immediately full of confidence. Immediately challenged Suyu to fight wine. For the door-to-door -door challenge, Suyu had absolutely no reason to refuse, and immediately agreed. And, just an hour later, King Cobra, Bella Falcon, and Jack are the Jackal all rushed to the street. R, R, R. What a worrying father, I have already said it. Vivi waved his hands helplessly. Vivi, you are a good daughter of my father and a good princess of the kingdom. I have really worked hard on you so far. This time Alabaster can. The drunken cobra was talking in his sleep to himself. What are you talking about? I am the princess of the country. This is what I should do. Vivi smiled. But. Dad also hopes that you can live a carefree life like a common girl, enjoy the journey of life, and do what you like. However, finding a boyfriend is a bit too early for you, Vivi. If you can try to wait until you are an adult. Of course, if you really like Vivi, dad will not stop. King Cobra, who was sleeping, 
shook out all the thoughts in his heart. Wow, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Vivi blushed immediately, and hurriedly ordered it can to take the nonsense old further back to the room to rest, drink and eat. Under the leadership of Vivi, the fairy tale girls came to the big bathing pool of the palace, soaking up the hot water beautifully. The girls of Yin Ying and Yan Yan are playing with each other, full of vitality and spring. By contrast, the man's bath next door is going to be much colder and only so you can enjoy it. Being alone also has the benefits of being alone, at least it is quiet enough. Just when Suyu was thinking so, suddenly, he only felt a strange feeling coming from somewhere in his body, to be completely enveloped by something warm. At the same time, the girl's bath next door. Hey, where's Juvia? Where's Juvia? This is Nami's voice. Really, why did Juvia suddenly disappear? Vivi asked suspiciously. <laughs> Mirajan covered her mouth and smiled lightly. If you want to find Juvia, Ayaza jumped up. Skip the block in the men's and women's baths. Go straight to the bath next door. Pull out Juvia who was hiding under the water. Hey, Juvia, why are you on the president's side? Nami asked in surprise. Cough cough. Juvia seemed to be choking, and made a swallowing motion. That's it. I think the water temperature at the president's side is more comfortable, so I came here. Juvia was talking nonsense. Is that so? Vivi is suspicious. Obviously both sides use the same hot water. If that's the case, then I'll try it too. Mirajan smiled slightly and joined in generously without even wearing a bath towel. It's troublesome to change back and forth, and I'll soak it up here too. Urza nodded. Nami, Vivi, do everyone in fairy tale even take a bath together? The two indigenous girls looked at each other, and after a while they both nodded, making up their minds. Then, let's go to Poof Tilda. Poof Tilda. The noise escalated. Yeah yeah yeah. Suyu shook his head helplessly. The rare piece was gone. Dot. The next day, early in the morning, Suyu moved away the little white feet that were resting on her body. Without disturbing the sleeping girls, Suyu got up quietly and came to the square inches front of the palace. Fairy tale stands quietly. Compared with yesterday, the scale is bigger. At the same time, earth-shaking changes have taken place inside. Last night's banquet, after confirming with Vivi, this alabaster time commission has come to a successful conclusion. And not as Suyu expected. The completion of the mainline commission brought a considerable amount of upgrade points. Guild level plus one again. Upgrade rewards will also be issued immediately. It's just that the upgrade reward this time is not magic, nor is it a new partner call. It's a complete upgrade of fairy tale. First of all, the most intuitive thing is the scale change of the ship. More partners can be accommodated. The second is the increase of the flight function. The flight of fairy tale so far has been achieved by Suyu's gravity magic. But after this upgrade, the fairy tale can fly in the sky by itself without the help of gravity magic. At last, fairy tale has also upgraded and deployed attack methods that were not available before. Magic cluster cannon Jupiter! Exclamation mark. Chapter 42 New Partner Vivian and Robin join fairy tale. Magic cluster cannon Jupiter. This is a powerful magical weapon in the world of fairy tale. First appeared in the All Out Showdown between Spectre and fairy tale. At that time. Erda, who was an S-level mage, summoned the strongest defense of the Vajra armor, but she could barely block it even after exhausting her magic power, which shows its power. Certainly, with the ancient weapon of this world, compared with Pluton, which claims to be able to shoot an island in one shot, the power of the magic cluster cannon Jupiter is far from enough. Although it is not enough compared to the above, it is also more than the following. Compared with the battleship cannons of this world, Jupiter could almost be described as a dimensionality reduction strike, even if one day in the future they will be surrounded by fleets. The main force of the guild is also performing tasks outside. Leftovers can also manipulate Jupiter, striking from the air. One cannon and one ship are nothing to worry about. 8 in the morning. Fairy tale girls wake up one after another. Good morning, President. Nami rubbed his sleepy eyes and yawned. By the way, President, is this an illusion caused by my hangover and dizziness? It always feels like our boat has grown bigger, Vivi said uncertainly. This is not an illusion. After we fell asleep last night, the President slightly upgraded the ship. Mirajan blinked playfully. Nanny, can't tell. The president still has this skill. Nami's beautiful eyes widened. Next second. Whoops Tilda. Suyu's big hand made intimate contact with the back of Nami's head. Ha ha ha. Dot. Time flies. Another week in a blink of an eye. During this week's rest period, Vivi took fairy tale to see the customs and customs of Alabaster. At the same time, because of the news reports, the whole country knew about fairy tale saving Alabaster. Every time Suyu and his party go to a city. They will receive the warmest welcome from the people of Alabaster, with a week-long parade of heroes wrapped up, Fairy Tail is ready to set sail. At the same time, Alabaster also has big things happening. 10 o'clock in the morning, Royal Capital, Albana. The streets and squares were crowded with people. Crowds are also constantly gathering in major cities in China, which is extremely lively, because the Princess Vivi's aspiration speech ceremony is about to begin. Originally, this was what Vivi had to do when he was 14 years old, but, a year ago, in order to investigate the root cause of the country's civil strife, Vivi went undercover to the Locke Agency. Until now, 
everything is finally over. To further inspire the nation, King Cobra specially arranged for this ceremony. This moment, under the eager anticipation of the people of the whole country, Princess Vivi stepped on the red carpet and stepped onto the high platform of the square. Looking at the princess on the stage, the people in the audience were all taken aback. These five big and three thick hot-eyed women's rough guys are Princess Vivi. Their Princess Vivi of Alabaster is obviously the cutest girl. No. That's not Princess Vivi. Ah, that's Captain Icarn. Captain Icarn, what are you doing? Captain, you can just dress up as a woman. Why do you still have to dress up like a princess? Where is Princess Vivi? Where is the princess? No male princess. No male princess. Looking at the hot-eyed female costume Icarn on the high stage, the whole audience was in chaos, and all kinds of rotten tomato leaves were thrown towards the stage. Icarn, the captain of the king's army guard, didn't care, he just stood on the railing and performed a fan dance to enliven the atmosphere. Next second, everyone, the voice of the Princess Vivi spread throughout the country through the phone bug. It all started from that day. I took a little adventure for a while. It was a day of crossing the dark sea and looking for hopelessness. In the dark storm, I met a small boat, which held the helpless my hand says to me, Alabaster Eastport, to Marisk. The fairy tale moored quietly, deck holding the phone bug. Vivi told the whole country about her big adventure. It is the greatest luck in my life to be able to meet everyone in fairy tale. I have gained courage and kindness from everyone. This time I want to pass on this courage and kindness. So, please forgive my waywardness. I may have to go out for a while. Hey, do we still have to go after all? Master Vivi. Falcon Bell heaved a sigh of reluctance. Why are you so lost, Bell? Haven't we decided a long time ago? We must support Vivi Sama's choice to the end, and cheer for Vivi Sama's new adventure. Jackal Jacko said. Princess Vivi, what does this mean? All over the kingdom, the people looked at each other in blank dismay, after a moment of sluggishness. Ha ha ha, do you need to say that? Master Vivi is preparing to walk with the heroes. Go and help other people in need. As expected of our princess. Heroes of fairy tale, we must protect our princess. All the people of Alabaster are seething and laughing. Did you hear that? Vivi, everyone is cheering for your new journey. King Cobra wiped his eyes. Bon voyage. Dot. East Harbor. Tamarisk. Southeastern waters. A large marine warship braved the wind and waves, and approached the fairy tale. Ah, what did I hear earlier? The princess of a country wants to join fairy tale. Does the princess want to become a pirate? Wearing an M hat, a floral dress, and a long skirt, the eye-catching young beautiful girl raised her eyebrows in surprise. Peacock sauce. Fairy tale is not strictly speaking a pirate group. And Princess Vivi of Alabaster, she is really amazing. She is our idol, the young marine sergeant Skylark said with a full face of admiration. A princess from a country becomes a member of fairy tale. It's really not a trivial matter, but, as long as today's negotiation is successful, then there will be no problem at all. Admiral of Headquarters Alternate Mo Mousagi Jian said in a deep voice, Miss Giant, look over there, someone is approaching fairy tale, that is. Marine beauty Colonel Hina's eyes widened suddenly. Who is that? Peacock, the little granddaughter of Vice Admiral Crane, Marine's Chief Staff Officer asked quickly. Son of the devil. Hina took a deep breath and said the name. Nico Robin. Dot. Chapter 43 Robin's Commission. A hundred years of searching for a blank. Gaga Tilda. The phone bug hangs up. Princess Vivi's resolution speech is over. Okay, let's go. Vivi raised her small powder fist full of vitality. Before that, Myra, you go get that out. So you said that? Vivi tilted her head in confusion. Gar. Karu, the super fast running duck who joined Vivi, also followed suit and tilted his head. That's it this one. Nami showed Vivi the fairy tale logo on his arm. This is the symbol of the guild, and it is also the symbol of our partners. Can I have such a handsome logo too? Vivi's eyes lit up. Of course, Vivi, have you figured out where to print the logo? You can also choose the color freely. Nami reminded. Where is the print? Isn't it unified on the arm? Vivi was taken aback. Of course not. The president and I both have right arms, Urza has left arms, and Juvia and Miss Myra have left thighs. The colors chosen by everyone are also different. Speaking of Vivi, you should you know it right, Nami said. Oh, 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 Vivi reacted. They both bathed in the same pool. Now after Nami reminded, Vivi also remembered. He frowned and thought for a moment. Several options were denied. Ended up being the last one left. Then I'll just print it on the back of my hand, and choose beige in color for the color. Vivi makes a decision. Quack quack. Karu, the super fast running duck, waved his wings, signaling to print the logo on his duck wings. Okay, okay. Then come one by one. Mirajan walked out with a magic seal. Vivi reached out to the back of her right hand and closed her eyes nervously. I thought the process of getting a tattoo might be a little bit painful. But never thought about it. Just for a moment. The fairy tale logo is the branding complete. In Vivi's dazed effort, Karu's logo is also branded. Congratulations, Vivi. From now on, you are also an official member of fairy tale. Nami applauded again and again. Um, facing the sun. Vivi looked at the logo on the back of her hand, 
and her joy was beyond words. At this time, Jingle Bell Tilda, the service bell rang. Who will come out of this time? Nami whispered suspiciously, and activated the magic lifting platform. It doesn't take a moment. Two figures, one big and one small, appeared in the sight of everyone in Fairy Tale. Miss Golden Week and Miss Isle Sunday, what are you doing here? Vivi's eyes widened in surprise. Nami changed the form of the Taurus Star Spirit clothes, and subconsciously protected Vivi behind her. I've heard of the name of Fairy Tale. I'm here to entrust you with a special task this time. Robin smiled slightly. The plane hand waved lightly. A large package on the lift table is delivered above the deck. The moment it was opened, the golden light suddenly shone brightly. Golden precious stones abound. Wow, Miss Robin, please sit down. Nami suddenly fell, and his eyes were completely blinded by money. He even moved a seat for the big benefactor Robin graciously. Miss Robin, what do you want to entrust us with? Myra Jane asked. I want to know a piece of history. Robin spoke solemnly. History? Urza raised her eyebrows in surprise. History is the carrier of time. What happened in the distant past is recorded by history, but, in the past about 800 years ago, there was a blank history, commonly known as a blank one. A hundred years. I want to know that blank history. This is my commission. Robin spoke quietly. A blank hundred years. Urza, Mirajan and Juvia all looked at each other in blank dismay. Even Nami and Vivi who were born and bred in One Piece world, are full of question marks. I just feel that Robin's commission is too abstract and completely incomprehensible. Others don't understand, but Suyu is very clear. Okay, this commission, we accept it. Suyu agreed without hesitation, and immediately changed his style of painting. It's just that the difficulty of this commission is far from enough. Have to. The president is going to start tripping off again. Nami couldn't help but slander in her heart. This time she got it right. Don't take the initiative to show off. Talk about business. After all, Last time she almost carried 80 more small goals for this. No problem. I will pay back the part that is not enough. The premise is that President Suyu can give me a job opportunity. Robin answered without hesitation. I will also help Sister Robin to work together. Marianne, a leisurely girl with superpowers, agreed. Suyu smiled with a tacit understanding. Both were people he had invited. Naturally, he will not refuse now. For Chairman Suyu's decision, Urza and the others will not have the slightest opinion. Only Vivi had a slightly unnatural expression on his face. After all, both Robin and Marianne were once members of the Barlick Works and participated in Kelkida's plan. Working with former enemies is somewhat difficult. Only, think carefully. She was able to meet everyone in Fairy Tale. Alabaster can now be saved before the worst happens. Robin also contributed a lot. Prince Vivi, although it doesn't do anything, I still want to say sorry to you and Alabaster first. Robin walked up to the dazed Vivi. Sorry. Marianne also apologized. It's okay, it's all over. And if it wasn't for Missile Sunday that you concealed the identity of me and Akira, we wouldn't have been undercover for so long, let alone meet everyone. Vivi quickly waved her hand, expressing that she no longer minds. Of course, generosity is one aspect. It's impossible to say you don't mind at all. Vivi is a kind and understanding girl. I know that both Robin and Marianne were invited by Suyu. She didn't want to embarrass Suyu. Thanks. Robin and Marianne thanked Vivi for his tolerance. Robin and Marianne come over here and think about where you want to put the logo. Mirajan waved. Not long. Robin made the first decision. Option to brand the black fairy tale logo on the back of the left hand. The girl with leisurely superpowers chose the position of her right calf. Indicates that the planting of grass is completed. Fairy tale members get another plus two. President, a banquet will be held next. Welcome new partners to join us, Juvia suggested. Don't worry about the welcome ceremony. Suyu turned around and looked towards the southeast. A large marine warship is approaching. It's marine, what are they doing here? Nami woke up from the temptation of money. Aside, Robin pursed his lips nervously. The joy of joining fairy tale suddenly disappeared. Dot. Chapter 44 Recruitment and Anti-Recruitment Invite Peacocks and Larks Alabaster East Harbor Fairy Tail makes contact with the Naval Headquarters warship, led by Admiral of Headquarters Alternate Mo Mousagi Giant. Several heroic marine female soldiers walked through the gangway and landed on the deck of the Fairy Tail. Colonel Hina, the handover of clock should have been completed. Do you have anything else to do? Vivi looked at Marine, a pink-haired beauty in a suit and leather shoes. Marine High Shine Colonel Hina currently serving in the G6 branch not far from Alabaster. This time, Colonel Hina is solely responsible for the handover, custody and management of Shikai Bukai Lokida and Lockwork Agency advanced agents. Within the past week, Vivi, Tsuyu and others have met Hina more than once, and they are now half acquaintances. Could it be that Miss Hina has thought about it and plans to accept my invitation? Tsuyu smiled. In the past few encounters, Tsuyu also sent an invitation to join Hina. Mo Mousagi Jian, what's going on? She came here this time to recruit Tsuyu. This hasn't been said yet. On the contrary, the other party poached his feet first. Feel the gaze from the big sister head giant. A little unnaturalness appeared on Hina's face. No, President Tsuyu, Princess Vivi, I am not here this time for the follow-up of Barlock, 
The details will be explained by Momausugi Jian Vice Admiral. Hina took a deep breath and said calmly. Naval Headquarters Momausugi Jian Vice Admiral, Vivian Nami stared at each other. Obviously heard the name of Momausugi Jian. The number of female sailors in the Marine is scarce, especially the powerful beauty Marine. Jian, who is Admiral's alternate, is the first echelon under Admiral, with outstanding appearance and strong strength. It is inevitable that he will become the focus of attention. Certain news agencies are most fond of reporting on events related to Momausugi Jian. The more reports are made, the more people will naturally know about it. Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral, is she a formidable figure? Juvia whispered. Amazing. Robin took a deep breath. Her pretty face was no longer as calm and calm as before. Giant glanced at Robin calmly. Devil's son Nico Robin. Although this is not the goal of her trip. But now that we have encountered it, we can't just sit idly by. But right now, of course. The recruitment task is more important. After the recruitment is successful, let Suyu donate Robin as a vote, and everything will be done. The best of both worlds. Think here. Jian didn't delay any longer. He took a step forward and faced Suyu directly. I am Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral Momausugi, and I am here with five elders and Marshal Marine. Before Jian finished speaking, I reject. Suyu was straightforward and refused without hesitation. Jian, I haven't started explaining this yet. The other party refused so simply and neatly. At least you have to listen to it first before deciding. Hey, just when Jian was slandering and dazed, Suyu looked over Jian and landed on the young sailors behind him. What's your name? Suyu asked knowingly. Ah dot 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 ah dot 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 our name is Skylark. Suddenly being called to by Suyu, the soft girl Sergeant Yank was suddenly at a loss. Stupid, Skylark, don't casually talk to strange men, ignore them here. Major Peacock, a beautiful girl with long legs, taught. But Peacock, our mother taught us that it is impolite to ignore others. The soft girl Lark said weakly. I see. Skylark and Peacock are really good names. By the way, do you want to consider joining our fairy tale? So you extended the invitation with a smile. This reverse operation, from the recruited party to the recruiting party, directly stunned Giant. Even Urza, Nami, Robin and other fairy tale girls couldn't help being stunned at the moment. All the pretty faces looked weird. Obviously already have them, but still see one and love the other. When I saw a pretty girl, I wanted to invite her to join. It is really, greedy. It seems that it is because of too much energy. Mirajan thought if Suyu were to know what the girls were thinking, he would definitely cry out for being wronged, because he really has no other ideas. It's just simply considering that the guild's manpower is not enough. It may not be possible to cope with the large number of entrusted orders, so I want to invite as many talented people as possible. Certainly, not just anyone can join Fairy Tale. At least it must be someone who Suyu is familiar with and knows the basics. Needless to say, Kina is one of the representatives of the new generation of Marine. As for the Skylark and Peacock, they are also the best of the next generation of Marine, especially Peacocks. As the granddaughter of Vice Admiral Crane, Marine's chief staff officer, she has great potential. As for the soft girl Lark, although the current strength is worse, but that's not a big deal. As long as you join Fairy Tale, you will have the opportunity to awaken magic, and your strength will definitely increase greatly. After all, even a weak chicken like Nami can easily kill Agent Lock advanced in seconds after awakening magic. Artilda, listening to Suyu's sudden invitation, the soft girl Sergeant Yank suddenly opened her mouth wide, grabbing the hem of his clothes with his slender hands. He was at a loss written all over his face. Even the peacock, who is shaking his character, is stunned and stunned at the moment. Never expected that the other party would come up. Aside, looking at the bewildered Skylark and peacock, Hina couldn't help but nodded sympathetically. Think back then. She met Suyu for the first time, and before she could say a few words, she was invited. Hina's expression at that time was the same as that of today's Skylark and Peacock. Wait a moment. Wait a moment. Finally, Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral Momausugi Giant came back to life. Hastily opened his arms vigilantly, like an old hen protecting a calf. She guards the three of them behind her, Lark, Peacock, and Hina. The look at Suyu gradually became unfriendly. She came to recruit Suyu on this trip, but before she could say anything, she would be poached first. The other party actually wanted to abduct his important sisters from the very beginning! Exclamation mark. Also, Giant scanned the deck and noticed something. The entire fairy tale, except for Suyu, is all beautiful girls, which can't be tolerated by Giant. This guy is definitely not a serious person! Exclamation mark. As long as I'm here, Skylarks and Peacocks will never be allowed to be cheated away! Exclamation mark. Just when Giant thought so. Speaking of Momausugi Vice Admiral, do you want to join Fairy Tale too? So you directly invited Momausugi? Question mark. Chapter 45 The negotiation broke down. So you who protects the calf? Momausugi Vice Admiral. 
Do you want to join us on Fairy Tale? So you extended an invitation to Giant. Anyway, it's a casual thing. It's okay to be rejected. If you succeed, you will earn blood. So you naturally didn't hesitate to talk about it. Mo Mousagi Jian, listen to Suyu's sudden straight ball invitation. Jian was taken aback for a moment, then couldn't help laughing. It's not enough for this guy to focus on Skylux and Peacocks. Now even she is being targeted. Only, whether it's her or Lark, Peacock, Hina, all our marine civil servants with formal establishment. Putting aside a good establishment, he jumped to a precarious pirate team. What a fantastic idea is this. I am Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral. Admirals alternate Mo Mousagi Jian. This trip is jointly commissioned by five elders and Marshal Sengoku to recruit fairy tale presidents of you to succeed seven warlords of the sea. Jian stopped talking, and told his reason for coming seriously. At the same time, a letter of appointment was handed over to Suyu. So I have already said, refuse. Suyu didn't even look at the documents, and waved his hands calmly. From the very beginning, he knew the purpose of Jian's visit. Seven warlords of the sea, to put it nicely, is one of the three major powers in the world. To put it bluntly, he is nothing more than a lackey of the world government. Fairy tale is fairy tale. Will not become a vassal of others, especially the world government. Regarding this point, so you didn't hesitate for half a second. Do you know what invitation you declined? Jian asked back in astonishment. I thought he would hesitate a little after knowing the detailed invitation. Unexpectedly, Suyu's rejection was still so straightforward, without even the slightest hesitation. This kind of thing is irrelevant, but you are now being invited by me, the president of fairy tale. Suyu said seriously. The identity of Shikai Bukai can bring a lot of convenience to your future actions. Don't you want to know about this? Jian spoke earnestly to persuade. This sea is the territory of the government. No matter who you are, you need the government's permission to legally operate at sea. Otherwise you will be classified as pirates. If you don't want to become pirates, you need a reasonable identity. Mo Mousagi Vice Admiral, about this, my father, the King of Alabaster, has submitted a report to you Marine, Fairy Tale is our Alabaster certified team. Princess Vivi said seriously. Really? He nodded. It was she who submitted the application papers for Alabaster. There is a world government joining the big country as a backing guarantee. In theory, Fairy Tale can legally operate at sea. Of course, this theory also needs the approval of the above before it can be realized. If you change to normal time for Alabaster who just suffered from Shikai Bukai disaster, in order to appease the higher authorities, they will open the door of convenience as much as possible. Only, this time the situation is special. So you rejected Shikai Bukai's invitation not giving Marine in the government face. Naturally, Marine in the government will not give him face. Even with Alibus 2 as a guarantee, the application paperwork will not pass. At that time, Fairy Tale is still unorganized at sea. Why is it like this? Listening to Giant saying that the application has a high probability of not being approved, Vivi shook her head unacceptably. Accepting Shikai Bukai's invitation is the only option for you Fairy Tale to be able to legally operate at sea. Giant said firmly. Mo Mousagi Vice Admiral is this threatening me? So you smiled. I didn't mean that. I was just explaining to you the pros and cons of everything. The specific choice is still up to President Suyu so to decide. Giant spoke calmly. I see, if I don't become Shikai Bukai, Giant Vice Admiral, Peacock, Skylark. Miss Hina won't join us in fairy tale? So you thought seriously. Everyone, whoever says you become a Shikai Bukai, we will join you. The corner of Peacock's mouth twitched, unable to bear it any longer. I wonder how much this guy wants them to join. What, isn't the no benefit at all? Then add a fart. You go. So you waved his hand. Mirajan couldn't help chuckling. Nami, Vivian the others looked at each other and reacted. Vice Admiral Jian pursed his thin lips. She also saw it. So you didn't really want them to join the group so urgently. From beginning to end, this guy has been deliberately changing the subject, not oil and salt. It is obvious that he does not intend to give face to Marine and the government and become Shikai Bukai. That being the case, Jian will no longer try to persuade him with a shy face. It seems that our negotiation has broken down. Even so, I respect Chairman Suyu's choice. Jian spoke calmly. Then please go back. Suyu made a gesture of invitation. Before then, I have another thing to do. Jian's eyes fell on Robin. What should come is finally here! Exclamation mark. Robin clenched his fists nervously. Nico Robin, son of the devil, since I met you here, I will never turn a blind eye. Jian said decisively. Yeah yeah yeah. Suyu shook his head helplessly. Before he was so hard to make jokes. Part of the reason is precisely to divert attention. Don't want to conflict with Marine because of Robin's problem. Certainly. It's not because Suyu is afraid of Marine. What Suyu really wanted to avoid was to prevent Robin from feeling that because of her, fairy tale was involved. Only, conflict is now inevitable. That being the case, Suyu will not be polite anymore. Well, you want to take Robin away. Suyu came to Robin's side. Grab her slightly trembling little hand. See this sign? Suyu showed the black fairy tale logo on the back of Robin's hand to everyone in Marine. This is the symbol of fairy tale, the symbol of a partner. Robin is now a member of our fairy tale. If you want to take her away, then be ready to fight with me and fairy tale! Exclamation mark.
Su Yu changed his previous harmony. The moment the voice fell, an aura so fierce that it seemed to split the sky rushed up from him, overwhelming all directions. At this moment, the wind stopped and the clouds became quiet. There was no longer any waves in the rough sea. Under Su Yu's coercion, even marine elites like Hina and Peacock couldn't help but widen their eyes at this moment, feeling as if their breathing was about to stagnate, unable to speak a word. Until now, Su Yu gave them the impression that she was a good talking friend next door. Until now, feeling this indescribable coercion, they were suddenly startled. The man in front of me is the existence that once crushed and defeated Clock Da. As expected of a man who can defeat Shikai Bukai Clock Da. But, as Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral, I must be responsible for the justice behind me. Giant took a deep breath. His expression firm. Bang. The famous sword Jin Piluro unsheathed. Dot. Chapter 46 Start the War Urza vs Momousagi Giant As the president of Fairy Tale, there are two compulsory courses. One, gag. This is a necessary skill in order to deal with the council's occasional difficulties. Second, protect the calf. Everyone in the guild is an important family. Bullying by others is absolutely not allowed. Now, Robin is already a member of Fairy Tale. Marine wants to take Robin. Then let's fight! Exclamation mark. Change. Armor of the Sky Wheel. No need for Suyu to make a move. The moment Momousugi drew his sword out of its sheath, Urza is the magic knight. The sword wings of the heavenly wee Lama flapped, driving her figure to shoot out. When gold and iron clash, Urza used great power to take Jian away from Fairy Tail. If you want to fight, I will accompany you to the end. Urshaw spoke calmly, surrounded by swords raining ups and downs, and the scene was spectacular. Ilashaw, Queen of Fairies, I have heard about your name for a long time. This skill of controlling flying swords is really extraordinary, but... It may be very effective for ordinary miscellaneous fish, but it is useless for me. Giant stepped on Moonwalk, kept volleying, and looked at Urza calmly, with great confidence. She is Naval Headquarters Admiral Alternate, the first tier below Admiral. Among Vice Admirals, only the oversized Garp can stand above her. Urza's fencing skills really look extraordinary. But, from Giant's point of view, controlling so many swords at the same time is just a show after all. A real swordsman should specialize in one sword! Exclamation mark. Urza's moves are very effective against miscellaneous soldiers. However, once you meet a master with knowledge, it will not be of much use. The best proof of this is the recent report of the Alabaster incident. Except for Suyu's fight with Clock Dar, Morgons also focuses on Urza's fight with Mr. One Desbonis. Even a mere Desbornis can't be won quickly. In Giant, the so-called Fairy Queen is nothing more than that. Only, what Giant doesn't know is the fight with Desbornis. Urza didn't even show 10% of her own strength. Then let me experience the strength of Marine Vice Admiral. For the contempt in Giant's words, Urza could naturally hear it, but she didn't care. Raise your hands. The Sword of Tanlun confuses the sky. Dozens of magical flying swords shot towards Giant under the control of Urza. Giant's expression was slightly condensed, but he did not relax in the slightest during the battle. The famous sword Kempira is wrapped around the mighty armament Haki and the observation Haki is unleashed. Without missing anything, they knocked all of Urza's flying swords into the air with precision. Sky Wheel Sword of Pentagram In the armor form of the Sky Wheel, Urza wields a sword with both hands. The sword of the pentagram fell with lightning speed, and the speed was extremely fast. However, Giant has already read Urza's actions with a powerful observation Haki. The famous sword Jinpira wrapped around armament Haki swung down. The 100-meter sword energy smashed Urza's pentagram sword forcefully, and at the same time, it continued unabated destroying Urzhor's sword wings. It's over. Giant whispered calmly. Her high-heeled feet broke through the atmosphere, and shot out towards the unbalanced Urza. It's not over yet. Urza had no fear. Change. The light of the magic knight shines. The armor of the sky wheel that controls the multiple flying swords is retracted. In its place is a new set of black armor. Armor of Kuroba! Exclamation mark. Kuroba, moonlight. Urza strikes again. The characteristic of the armor of the sky wheel lies in the number of swords. And the characteristic of Kuroba's armor at this moment is speed. Under the blessing of Kuroba's armor, Urza's flying speed skyrocketed. Even Giant's observation Haki can hardly keep up. Jingle. The sound of gold and iron gliding was loud in an instant. Under Urza's extreme speed, even Giant was suppressed for a while. Had to rely on observation Haki to passively block. This moment, there was no trace of calmness on Giant's face. I thought the armor of the sky wheel was Urza's trump card. Unexpectedly, Urza changed into a new set of armor in the blink of an eye. What exactly is this ability? Besides these two sets of armor, does Urza have other armors? Many thoughts ran through Junin's mind and Giant's mind. Next second, her guess became reality. After it became clear that the armor of Kuroba could not take down the opponent, Urza changed her costume for the third time. The Thunder Emperor's armor! Exclamation mark. As the name suggests, this is armor with the attribute of lightning. The weapon in Urza's hand is also converted into a thunder gun that opens and closes. When Urza's thunder gun collided with Giant's famous sword Kinpira, Kai Kai, triggered by a powerful thunder and lightning force, through the blade, 
It is transmitted to Giant's body. Just for a moment, Giant's body was stiffened and paralyzed by the lightning. Drink. Urza suddenly exerted strength. The thunder gun hit the famous sword Jin Piluo, with a huge force that penetrated the back of the paper. Giant was shot down and smashed on the deck of the warship. Giant Vice Admiral, the soft girl Skylark yelled worriedly. How could such a thing happen? That's Miss Giant, the peacock. Pretty face of the S-shaking girl showed shock irresistibly. Elusa, the fairy queen. What kind of ability is she? What's going on with those special armors one after another? Ina's face was also full of shock. Naval Headquarters Vice Admiral, it should be more than this level. Urza stood on the mast of the warship, pointing her spear at Giant on the nail plate. Cough cough. Giant opened his mouth and spat out a wisp of electric arc, and slowly got up. Elusa, the Fairy Queen, I admit that I underestimated you before, but I won't anymore. I will do my best. Just what I want. Urza is also full of fighting spirit. Swish. The sword energy is horizontal and vertical. The knife is shining. Ah ah ah. The mainmast is going to break. The screams of the sailors continued one after another. I knew it. How could Miss Giant lose? Peacock breathed a sigh of relief. Turn around and face the fairy tale people. With his back hand, he untied the whip pinned to the back of his waist. Major Peacock, what are you going to do? The soft girl Skylark asked nervously. We must also practice our own justice, the peacock said firmly. But dot 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 how could we have won? Skylark said weakly. The second in command of fairy tale is Giant Vice Admiral, who has almost suppressed the strongest on their side. Not to mention Suyu, the president who is stronger than Urza. I also want to learn about fairy tales tricks. Colonel Hina steps forward. On the surface, it is helping the peacock. In fact, it is resolving conflicts. Define conflict as sparring. After all, Peacock is the granddaughter of Vice Admiral Crane, the great staff officer. If something happened, they couldn't explain it at all. Come on, fairy tale president, let me train you properly. The peacock licked the corners of its mouth charmingly, and flipped its wrist, about to launch the whip fruit ability to sue you. Since it's a whip, let me. Don't wait for Nami to change into the Taurus star spirit clothes. Next second, an astonishing accident happened suddenly. Two streams of seawater rushed up suddenly. Like tentacles, it restrains the peacocks who are caught off guard. Water restraint! Exclamation mark. That's Juvia's shot. Dot. Chapter 47, Armor of Purgatory. Urza defeated Giant and killed the warship. Naval Headquarters Major Peacock possesses the Paramecia whip fruit ability. Can command all that is whipped by her, even if it is a building. If it is hit by her whip, it must obey the command. This ability is similar to Perona's ghost fruit and sugar's childlike fruit, and it almost touches the rules. Even a person whose strength is far superior to that of a peacock, will be hit once he is whipped. Relying on this ability, coupled with his own character of shaking s, even if the opponent is at the Shikibukai level or even stronger, peacock dares to give it a try. However, the battle has not begun. It is declared over. She didn't even have time to use the whip fruit ability. Seawater tentacles that fell from the sky wrapped her body. The energy from the sea instantly rendered the capable user powerless. She could only watch Juvia grab her weapon. Who do you think you are, and how dare you try to teach my family's president? Listen carefully. The president has always been the only one who can teach others. Juvia said seriously. Say it. Juvia turned around. Hand over the peacock's whip to Suyu. Just when people thought Juvia was trying to get Suyu to teach peacock. Next second. The unexpected happens. I saw Juvia bent down by herself and raised the small leather drum. Come on, President. Please don't show mercy. Teach Juvia to your heart's content. Juvia was full of anticipation and eagerness to try. Nami, Vivi, Skylark, Wow, Hina, Suyu. Look at the whip in his hand, and look at Juvia's expectant A's. If there were no one else here, Suyu would really like to try. Okay, okay. That's it. Myra covered her face and dragged Juvia away. Wow Tilda. The seawater tentacles that bound the peacock dispersed. The weak peacock immediately fell to the deck. Peacock, are you alright? Skylark and Hina hurried forward. It's not bad. Without the suppression of the seawater, her lost strength gradually recovered. The girl from before dot 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 what the hell is going on? How did she do it? The peacock whispered softly. The exquisite pretty face is full of shock and disbelief. This was the first time in her life that she met someone with the ability to control water. Logia fruit ability. Hina spoke word by word, and said the name she got from the agents of the Barlock work agency. Before that, she still couldn't fully believe it, and felt that this ability was too nonsense. As a demon fruit power, hated by the sea. It turns out to be able to control water, which is simply too contradictory. But, after witnessing Juvia's shot with his own eyes, she also had to believe that this outrageous ability really existed. Logia fruit, how can this ability exist? The peacock couldn't help screaming in surprise. In this sea, nothing is impossible, Miss Peacock. Sue so smiled slightly and handed the whip back to the peacock. After this battle, even she didn't have the slightest fighting spirit. His whole body and mind were shocked by the existence of the Shui Shui fruit. President Suyu, is that really a fruit? The soft girl Skylark asked curiously. HMPH, this is the secret of our guild. If you want to know, 
Then become our partner. There are unexpected surprises waiting for you. Suyu laughed. No. No need. Forget it. I don't want to know. Skylark shrank its neck weakly. Ha ha ha. Suyu smiled, did not continue to press, and turned to look at the battlefield between Urza and Giant. Ilashor, we are about to leave. Learn. Urza said she knew. What do you mean? Because you are going to leave? So you plan to make a quick decision? Giant heard Suyu's overtones. Yes. On the mast of the warship. Urza nodded calmly. I admit that it was my fault for underestimating you at the beginning, but dot 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 you should also know that you and I have similar strength, and we can't tell the winner in a short time. Giant's determined opening at the other end of the mast. Urza didn't speak any more. Giant gritted his silver teeth lightly and swung his knife to attack, wanting to prove his judgment with practical actions. Facing Giant's surprise attack, Urza remained unmoved. When Giant came within ten meters of her, Urza finally moved. Change. Armor of Purgatory. The heavy black armor attached to Urza's delicate body exuded a powerful oppressive force. This sudden change made Giant's pupils shrink suddenly. It's too late to evade, only time to cross the knife. Boom. Urza swung her pitch black serrated heavy knife and smashed it on Giant's Kimpira. When Tilda, a dull voice like Huang Zong Dalu sounded, circles of shock waves of power visible to the naked eye spread, causing ripples in the atmosphere like water waves. Whoosh. Boom. Under the ultimate power of Urza's Purgatory armor, even Giant, who was Admiral's candidate, couldn't hold on any longer. Even with the blessing of armed color, her hands were bursting open, and blood spattered. The whole person was pushed down by the sabre energy of the heavy serrated knife. Rumble. The large warship exclusively owned by Vice Admiral was cut in half by the aftermath of the armor of purgatory. Wow ah ah. The warship dot 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 the warship was cut apart. What kind of monster is this? Giant Vice Admiral. Mo Mousagi Vice Admiral. Are you okay? The horrifying shouts of the sailors continued one after another. Cough cough cough. Giant grabbed the lower deck and jumped up, opening his mouth. He coughed up a mouthful of blood. His pale face was already occupied by shock and horror. You are an amazing opponent. This time I won because you are not familiar with my power. If there is a chance, we will fight again next time. After leaving these words, Urza jumped and returned to the deck of Fairy Tail. Yeah, I won. As expected of Urza, Nami happily stepped forward to high five Urza. Even the Momausagi Vice Admiral in the headquarters is. Urza is really amazing. Vivi was amazed again and again. How so? Miss Giant really lost. Two little sparrows murmured unconsciously. We are about to leave. You are still not leaving. Do you want to join after you have figured it out? Suyu asked with a smile. Hina's complexion changed. Hastily pulled the absent-minded peacock and skylark away, etc. Suyu seemed to have thought of something. Hina paused. Anything else? Cough cough. Suyu cleared his throat. Go back and tell your lords that if you want to fight us, you must send at least two admirals to play. Suyu Haki's opening. Slap. Hina staggered, didn't speak any more, and fled in a hurry. Ha ha ha. Let's go. The fairy tale set sail and gradually drifted away under the awe-inspiring eyes of the sailors. Dot. Chapter 48, The Man Who Offered a Reward of 500 Million! Exclamation mark. Alibus to Eastport, 10 minutes after the Shikai Bukai invitation event, at the top of the red line, the Holy Land Mary E. Joys, the Pangu City Hall, Nanny, that ignorant brat who turned down our Shikai Bukai invitation, not only refused, but also sunk all the warships of Vice Admiral Mo Mousagi who went to invite him, even openly shielding that woman. Shielding the devil's son Nico Robin. Arrogant. Really arrogant. That guy didn't take us seriously at all. Since he doesn't give us face, then we don't have to be polite. They want to be the heroes of the sea? It's a good idea. I want to see if there is any man who is not afraid of death and dares to ask a man who offers a reward of 500 million. The old people who represent the highest power in the world on the surface give orders. And, just a few minutes later, countless newspaper delivery birds are rushing to all parts of the world with new reward orders that the government has prepared for a long time. Nanny, another man with a reward of 500 million was born. Suyu, the president of Fairy Tale, is such an amazing man. The first time the reward was 80 million, it's been less than a month, and it's risen to 500 million. It's unbelievable. It's nothing to believe. It's a matter of course. After all, he defeated that Shikai Bukai. The man who defeated Shikai Bukai G. Lok Dull is worth the 500 million bounty. It's just, what I don't understand is, didn't fairy tale save a country this time? Why did the reward go up? Is there any other secret behind the alabaster incident this time? Is it really possible to entrust fairy tale? Those guys don't think they want law enforcement to fish, and trick us into killing us as pigs. I don't know, but I dare not entrust a man with a reward of 500 million to do things for me. All over the world, countless people are talking about it. Dot. New World. Darius Rosa, Fu Furfa, I wonder how amazing these guys are? It turned out to be only 500 million. Shikai Bukai do Flamingo laughed smugly. It's only 500 million. If it weren't for Dover, you became Shikai Bukai, and the bounty now has reached 1 billion. The top carder Diamante boasted, a mere fairy tale is nothing to be afraid of. Dot. A handsome pirate ship, Captain, Captain, something is wrong, your bounty has been overtaken, 
and it's a big chunk. The crew of the Junmai Regiment screamed in shock. What did you say? Bama Cavendish, the captain of the Junmai Regiment, who was admiring his beauty in the mirror, was suddenly taken aback. Five to five dot 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 five hundred million. What are you kidding? What are those marine guys thinking? How can anyone increase the bounty of more than 400 million all of a sudden? Cavendish couldn't believe it. He thought that his own reward of 200 million was destined to be the most dazzling star this year. Unexpectedly, a dark horse appeared out of nowhere, directly surpassed him by more than twice. How to play this? There are 500 million CU in front. His 200 million was completely eclipsed for a long time. Fortunately, although his bounty is higher than mine, but in terms of beauty, he definitely can't beat me, and the crew also. No. Captain, the leader of the Fairy Tale Guild is also a rare handsome guy, and the crew members are first class beautiful girls. Cavendish, people are hard to tear apart! Exclamation mark. East Blue, Kokoi RC Village. Ah, 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 Mr. Jian, the big thing is bad. Nami, Nami has also been offered a bounty. The exclamations of the villagers continued one after another. Nanny, what are you talking about? Why did this happen? President Suyu and the others saved the country? Why? Feng Jian shook his head unacceptably. Although I don't know what happened, but believe it. Believe in Chairman Suyu, believe in Nami, and believe in Fairy Tale. The blue haired girl knew Okigo said firmly. Dot. Fairy Tale. Ooh. The girls' voices erupted everywhere. 10 million. Dot, 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 500 million. Dot, dot, dot. The president's bounty has risen to 500 million. Nami said in surprise. Miss Urza has also been offered reward 79 million, which is 1 million short of the president's initial reward. That's amazing. Vivi was amazed again and again. So so. Urza smiled smugly. The feeling of being offered a reward seems not bad. Nami. Juvia, you have also been offered reward. Nanny, do I have it too? Nami was taken aback. Little thief, Nami, has a bounty of 360,000 berry. Juvia, a bounty of 54 million. Leisurely Lili Marion said, 333, 36 million. Isn't that higher than Arlong? Am I that good? Nami was stunned. The second deck of the guild. I'm sorry, I really am a troublesome woman. It's all because of me that you... Well, so you interrupted Robin's apology with a wave. It's nothing more than a bounty among my partners. Even if I don't get promoted this time, it will be the same next time. Besides, I didn't intend to become a Shikai Bukai in the first place, and it has nothing to do with you, President. Robin pursed his lips. Although Suyu said so, she would not really distance herself from what happened just now. After all, this conflict was indeed caused by her, nothing else. Okay, let's not talk about this anymore. Speaking of which, I have prepared a small gift for you to join the membership. Suyu smiled mysteriously and took out a paper tube from his hand. Open it and have a look. Um. Robin took it. Open the paper tube. Take out the large paper inside. Wait to see the text above. Robin's beautiful eyes suddenly widened to the limit. This is, historical text. Dot. Chapter 49 Robin's move. Sengoku regret. This is, the extension of the historical article. Looking at the gift that Suyu gave him, Robin was shocked beyond measure. What shocked Robin even more was the content recorded in this historical article. Information about ancient weapon Pluton Pluto! Exclamation mark. That's exactly what she was looking for during her three years at Alabaster. Originally, she had given up after Lockdahl's plan fell through. Unexpectedly, there is no doubt and no way out in the mountains and rivers, and there is another village with dark willows and bright flowers. Now when she gave up, what she had been looking for for three years appeared so easily and suddenly. I came across this by chance when I was sightseeing in the capital. I thought it was quite interesting, so I made a rubbing copy, as long as it is what you want. So you said nonsense. In fact, he sneaked into the funeral hall and made rubbings for Robin. After all, Robin is a problem child who needs to be comforted by something that interests her. Robin pursed his lips and looked at Suyu with a look of emotion on his pretty face. Although Suyu said it was accidental, she could feel that it was not the case. Whether it's the previous conflict with Marine, or the present surprise gift. Robin can deeply feel the heart of the man in front of him, and it's definitely not a lie. President, do you want to know what is recorded on it? Robin seemed to have made some kind of decision, and her pretty face looked more serious than ever. With Lockdial, she made the decision right from the start. In the end, even if he did get information about the ancient weapon, he would never tell Clock Eater or anyone else. But, now Robin has changed his mind. If it was this man, she could give everything she had. However, more than Robin expected. I do not want to know. So you smiled slightly. Because I already knew it. Okay, everyone, let's start celebrating the addition of new partners. So you announced. Oh, dot. Fairy tale, the banquet is in full swing and the atmosphere is cheerful. This moment. Naval Headquarters Marinford, Naval Headquarters Office. Marshal Sengoku couldn't relax because just now, he has already received a report on the whole process of Giant's contact with Suyu. Previously, they, as well as the five elders, have only received reports of a breakdown in negotiations and the destruction of the warship. Until now, the full report is finally out. If the five elders knew that Urza defeated Momo Sugi Giant, who was Admiral's alternate strength, 
In a short time, it will definitely not be released according to the previously proposed reward amount. Send at least two admirals, this is really, Sengoku, this is not a joke, that man is qualified to say that. Vice Admiral, Marine Chief Staff Officer, said solemnly. I know. Marshal Sengoku shook his head, being able to defeat Jian in such a short period of time. The bounty of the fairy queen Ayazo alone is enough to reach 500 million. As for Suyu, who is the captain, it is not an exaggeration to double it. Finally, there is this girl who can freely control water elements. She is suspected to be a Logia water fruit capable person. If this is true, Xio, it's all my fault. If the East Blue Base incident happened, I could listen to you and investigate first before making a decision. Maybe it won't be now. Marshal Sengoku sighed, remorseful. No. Even if there is no initial reward, the result will still not be much different from now. The Vice Admiral Crane shook his head. Fairy Tail has their own ambitions, and they will never be inferior to others. Dot. The next day, early morning, Fairy Tail Deck. So you woke up early. Open the system panel with a wave of your hand. Fairy Tail LV9. Question mark President. So you? The Lost Magic, Thunder Dragon Slayer Magic 100%. Has unlocked Dragon Slayer Mystery. Dragon King species is not activated. Thunder Dragon King mode to be unlocked. Guild members. S level mage fairy queen Erda, S level receptionist demon Mirajan, star spirit mage Nami, Vivi, Karu, Robin, Marianne, question mark. 87% to the next level. Sure enough. The increase in guild members can also get upgrade points. So you nodded. East Blue Kokoi RC village event. Completed Nami's main quest. Plus the addition of Nami, a member of the protagonist group. The addition of the two increases the guild level by two. This time the alibus to event entrustment ended, and the guild was upgraded again. And then yesterday. The addition of Robin, Vivi, Karu, and Marion made the guild level plus one again. Upgrade rewards have also been issued. After Erda, Mira Jane and Juvia, the fourth place, no, more precisely, the fourth pair of partners from the fairy tale world has come to One Piece World, because this time the call was not a single person, but a pair of W kegs. Although he still doesn't know his identity, Suyu knows his location. He looked up to the sky. This time the partner is Heaven! Exclamation mark. President and President. The girls' surprise cheers brought Suyu back from his thoughts. Nami jumped up and down in front of Suyu. Change yourself. She put on a black and white maid outfit on the spot. General, President, I have awakened a new magic again. This time it is the power of the Virgo Protoss. Nami showed off. This is a matter of course. As long as you work hard and continue to complete the commissions in the future, there will be more surprises. Suyu smiled. Really? Then I will definitely work hard. Nami clenched his fists vigorously. President and President. At this moment, the cheers of the girls' surprise and surprise sounded again. Vivi rushed in front of Suyu. Her little face flushed with excitement. Hee hee, Vivi, you should be awakened too. Nami giggled. Yeah, it's really unbelievable. This is the power of magic. I thought it was a fairy tale in a book, but I didn't expect that one day it would actually appear and happen to me, Vivi said excitedly. Last night, she learned from Nami that joining fairy tale would bring unexpected magical surprises. At first, Vivi didn't care. After all magic is too fantastic. Until now personally experiencing the awakening. She finally believed in this fantastic reality. Nami, Erda, Juvia, aren't you using the devil fruit ability, but the power of magic? Asked Vivi. That's right. Erda nodded. Vivi, what magic have you awakened? Start showing it. Juvia asked curiously. Dot. Chapter 50 Flower Flower Fruit plus Wood Magic equals Wood Style True Several Thousand Hands. Come on. Hurry up and show us your magic. Nami asked curiously. Um. Vivi nodded lightly. My mind moved. Magic light shines. Wait until the light converges. Vivi's image has also changed. Water Blue's long hair, which was originally loose, was tied into a high ponytail. A band with an M engraved on it is worn on the forehead. The Water Blue dress is also replaced by a set of heroic battle clothes. At the back of Vivi's waist, there is also a piece of equipment that looks like a scorpion tail. This magic seems to be somewhat similar to mine. Nami nodded suspiciously. That's right. The magic awakened by Vivi is the same as Nami and you. It's all Protoss magic, and this is probably the Protoss clothing of Scorpio. Erza explained. Scorpio? Yes, this is it. Vivi's eyes lit up. Scorpio. Nami rolled his eyes. His eyes fell on the scorpion tail behind Vivi. Speaking of which, Vivi, how is your scorpion tail equipped? Could it be? Let me see. Nami started immediately, wanting to see where the scorpion tail connects. No, Nami, don't take off my clothes. The president is still here. I'll be shy. Vivi struggled. What does it matter? We are all partners who have taken a bath together. Nami pushes the boundaries. Just when the two girls were fighting. Quack quack tilde. Running duck. Karu quickly ran out of the cabin. Karu, who has been inseparable from Vivi since childhood. This time Vivi joined Fairy Tail. And he also brought him along by the way. The super fast running duck who joined Fairy Tail with Vivi has also awakened its magic at this moment. Karu, 
Have you also awakened the power of magic? Vivi said in surprise. Quack quack. Karu nodded repeatedly. What kind of magic is it? Nami. Juvia and others are also interested in the eyes of everyone. Karu the super duck spreads his duck wings. One jumped off the boat. Whoa. Karu. Vivi hurried to the side of the boat and looked down. Next second, in Vivi's shocked A's, the super fast running duck Karu actually flew up. Ducks. Can fly too? Nami was taken aback for a moment. This should be the magic of the transcendence wing. Mirajan spoke. Karu. Dot 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 Karu has become a super fast duck. Vivi murmured softly. Good morning, everyone. Robin and Marion came out of the cabin and greeted each other. It's just in time. Robin, Marianne, you should also have awakening magic. Urza asked. Well, Robin nodded. Wait a moment, that's magic, magic that can be called a miracle. Robin, your attitude is too calm. Nami couldn't help complaining. Well, of course there is some inner shock, but this is the wonder of fairy tale, isn't it? Robin smiled slightly. In fact, don't look at her so calm. Actually, when I just woke up in the morning, Robin was stunned. Never imagined there is such a miraculous power as magic in this world. And he finally knew too. What everyone in fairy tale uses is not the devil fruit ability, but the power of magic. That's the great thing about fairy tale. So, Robin and Marianne, what type of magic have you awakened? Sue you asked. I'll come first. The leisurely Lily Marian raised her hand first. I saw her take out a paintbrush. A cannon was drawn on the ground. Next moment, the magic light flickered. The cannon was loaded by hollow and fired a single shot into the sea ahead. Immediately afterwards, Marianne drew another cute puppy which was also resurrected. Wow, Nami and Vivi opened their mouths together, already stunned. Drawing magic, the magic that makes the pictures I draw move. Marian said, Suyu nodded. Marianne was able to match the drawing magic within his expectations. After all, she was originally a painter, and she was a good match for painting magic. Suyu's gaze then fell on Robin. What magic king Robin with the flower flower fruit ability match? He is also quite curious about this. So, Robin nodded, opened his arms and activated his new ability. The warm spring breeze is blowing. The spirit of spring swept through fairy tale. Flowers and plants sprouted on the deck without warning. There are also sprouts protruding from the boat fence, which is full of vitality. This. What kind of magic is this? Nami and Vivi opened their mouths in shock again. Urza and Mirajan looked at each other, seeing shock in each other's eyes. They have already recognized that this is the magic of Volod Sinkin, one of the founders of fairy tale and the fourth among the ten holy wizards. Would magic? Suyu frowned slightly. Um, Robin nodded. This is magic that can manipulate nature. The corner of Suyu's mouth curled up. The wood magic of the fairy tale world is similar to the Logium Yumi fruit of the One Piece world. More importantly, this spell works well with Robin's flower flower fruit. Flower flower fruit plus wood magic. Even if Robin develops a big move like wood style through several thousand hands in the future, it is not surprising. The magic demonstration session of the new members is over. The next step is the actual combat adaptation stage. Karu, the super fast duck, is practicing flying with a crew. It can carry Urza wearing armor, and it can easily carry Vivi on long distance flights in the future. The other side, Scorpio Vivi is the opponent of Virgo and Army, and each is familiar with new powers. Marion uses painting magic under the guidance of Mirajan and Juvia. Certainly, it was Mirajan who was in charge of guiding, and Juvia was purely here to make trouble, allowing Marianne to draw many of the toys she wanted. At last, Sue is seriously discussing with Robin the possibility of combining flower flower fruit with wood magic. Time passed bit by bit. At noon, hi hi hi. There was a loud laugh from the air. President Sue, here I come again. News King Morgans glides against the wind and lands on the deck of the fairy tale. He untied the large sack he was carrying behind his back and handed it to Sue. These are commissions from all over the world, and they are really lucky to have the help of Chairman Sue. Dot. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this and join my Patreon if you want to support me, link in the description. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story, or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.